So, so Deborah, this weekend, we should talk about our trip to um, Eugene. I know. We okay. Should. I've been trying to talk to you about that for like a month. Okay. Well. I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> Adrian's thinking about going. Really? I just talked wow. to her today. I'm trying to talk. She's because I think maybe so. Well, we'll have hey, to see. Hey, Susan. You know. Yes, Terry. Susan. Yeah. We we don't have anyone doing a topic on our team yet. Ooh, that should be interesting. What? Is that because Robin's supposed to be on? Hey, Robin, there? I, I, I figure we're three? getting Robin. Yeah, you're getting Robin. You're okay. in team three, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, you'll be getting. Okay, cool. If was not, this... guess who's doing it? <laughs> <laughs> you better brush on up, Adrian, Peggy, or Terry. It <laughs> starts with an <laughs> S and it rhymes with Uzen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Karen. Karen brought me. Here, I got to show you what Karen brought me. Hold on. Where is it? Darn it. Oh, he put it on L. Ron Hubbard. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll see. Put it on L. Ron Hubbard. Did I hear that right? You did. Karen brought me. Karen brought me a little tiny 4th of July hat. Oh, oh dude. Oh. the cats. <laughs> but what does it have to do with LRH? Well, because I, uh, I have an L. Ron Hubbard uh, bookend over here, and Mark just set it on top of his head whenever. Bookend? Because we couldn't get, yeah, you know, book bookends. Did you name your cat L. Ron Hubbard? No, but we can't get it to go on. We couldn't get it to go on. Um, why, image did, of why do you name your bookends? I'm confused. No, no, it's a it's a bookend. An actual bust. It's a bust of L. Ron Hubbard. I have two. All right. So then Paula, there's a bigger Paula, question. Paula, Paula, why? Paula made them for me. Why do you have a bust? Because Paula made them for me. She wanted me to paint them. Why the Scientologists Paula, are right. Susan needed a place to keep her copy of Dianetics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. So many questions. <laughs> All right of that to, Scientology right stuff. How many emails do you own? Please tell me. Well, he, she just had a bust of him. She she does ceramics. She's a, she does that stuff. Paula, she has a kiln Paula. and all that. And she made a bookends for me one day years ago. And they're just sitting there. And I've never painted I, I need to ask Paula why she was interested in doing that. Okay. You, She's really interested in Scientology. Every she time is. you look at it, every time you look at it, you say, well, my life could be so much worse. Yeah, there you go. Here, I'll, I'll show you really quick. Let me grab the camera, It's actually the gargoyle. <laughs> or is that Al Ron? That's, that, that, yes, but that's just a joke between. There he is. Oh my God. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, He's that's good. good. That's Gary, good. they make good Halloween decorations. Mm -hmm. I guess it's, like, it's the new number two. Right? Oh, he does look like it, huh? I will oh, not be able only to like, And only like two people got that reference, Casper. I, I I'm not a number. I, I am a free it. man. Oh, I have actually. What I does that have to do with? I've used right, it before right, on a on a video. I'll have to show you guys whenever we come back from when we have a moment. Okay, okay so, so what's what's the connection between the prisoner and LRH? <laughs> there are a number of busts in the prisoner, some of which look like number twos. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's true. There are lots you of You don't busts. have to comment on the craftsmanship like that. <laughs> he also looks kind of like just vaguely similar to Leo McKern. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Yep. I'm um, glad every, that wasn't a question. I hope everybody saw my my video of our visit with the raccoons. <laughs> I stopped what the that. heck? Um, I forgot all about that. I can't until... believe they still have access to your house. <laughs> I know, me neither. Well, they go away for a long period of time and you just get complacent and then they come back. But I was by myself and I <laughs> the funny thing is I uh, here comes Kevin again. I shared the um video of it with Caspian and Sterling and, and uh, Jamie, the other Jamie, and they just could not stop making Uri Geller jokes because I was throwing spoons at the thing. <laughs> 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 and then I posted on Facebook and people were doing the same thing, talking about, oh, wow, they're eating with forks and knives and spoons now. <laughs> Were there some, some clothes hangers too? Yeah. Are, I these, just grabbed... are these Roe v. Wade raccoons? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was just what I had. I had a Halloween it decoration. Like noise. I was just throwing things at them. They just, it was so scary. Oh, but well, that's scary. Oh, you saw them come in? No, they were making a hell of a lot of noise and they wouldn't leave. 
They would not leave. Were, they knew I was there. I'm yelling at them and they would not leave. Some of them left. Were they in the house yes. when you were yelling? Yes. And then I went and I'm looking at them. They're just looking Did at me. Did you open like, the door what? for them? No, they came to the cat door. It would give them a bigger place to go out if you open the door. Well, no, because I'd have to open the door door and they would just closer to she would have to pass the raccoons to open the door yeah yeah well, she, and she could have gone around in the exterior I've been to her house. that's what i did i went around and got the spoons and was throwing them out. <laughs> you should you should you should put food out but make it a really rich fattening food and oh, they'll so get enough weight where they won't be able to fit through the cat <laughs> Oh, More the my cat. Food technique. and then you'll have house raccoons yeah there you go oh, it'll well. be enough okay so here we are let's get our names because the video is up on my facebook page somewhere i'm sure if you guys want to find it i actually had another one that i was throwing where i was throwing stuff from another oh, angle yeah. but i deleted that video accidentally because i hit don't save because i was like oh my god I mean, you're screaming at the damn thing with the lights on. They're looking at me, and I'm looking the, at them, and they and just stay so there fast. eating. Oh my why god! Don't, why don't you just put a sign up? This is the exit. <laughs> you know what we did, Susan? We had a garbage can, and we put a hole in the bottom, about big enough for their little hands, and put a sign that said "Raccoon Cafe." <laughs> I think I want to attract more of them. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, Whew. so what a week it's been. Not all great. So uh, let's let's hopefully we have some good fun names and a good fun time tonight. So here we go. So uh, we have Alan, Gail, Karen, and Vincent in room number one. And what are you guys calling yourselves tonight? Thoughts and prayers won't help our score. Either. Uh, either. Either. Uh, Sorry, either. <laughs> Okay, here's chat. I'm trying to find the chat. Okay, there it is. Thoughts and squares won't help our score either. Or either. Either. You say either. I say either. I say either. You say either. I say. How about ether? Mark's Mark's in the other room being interviewed by somebody for Genie Magazine, which is the official magazine for the Magic Castle. Oh, cool. Oh. I was just actually listening to his audiobook again, and he was just talking about the castle in the prior episode. What are the odds of wow. that? Okay, Bob, Carl, Kyle, and Rob. So in honor of uh, General Flynn's taking the fifth to even the question, do you believe in the uh, peaceful transfer of power in the United States? Our team name is We Plead the Fifth. <laughs> what? That was amazing to see. I mean, Did you see the meme going around on Independence Day? What? That um, what? Happy, uh, happy, happy fifth to all of you who didn't take. Happy fourth to all of you who didn't take the fifth about the sixth. Oh, <laughs> well, that's good. clever. No, I haven't yeah, said that's that. Good. That's that's very good. Adrian, Peggy, Terry, and a future Robin, hopefully. Peggy, you might want a reminder. Somebody might. I will. Um, or the, oh. George could do the round. I got it in the chat. OK, good. <clears throat> this is in honor of all of us, our heritage being British. The British Amazons? Oh. Yeah. Okay. They're all British, huh? Yeah. Adrian, huh? Well, I guess she is kind of. Yeah, well, with a, my mother's maiden name was Fishwick. Actually, <laughs> physic. She couldn't if, wait if, to get married, could she? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know because she married a muirhead. I'm not sure if that was better. Uh, <laughs> uh, not an improvement. You can no. trade. Your maiden name is Muirhead? Yeah. You should have Adrian taken Muirhead? The, yeah. Really? You should have taken, <laughs> should have taken some of both and called herself Fishhead. Oh, I'm sure she's never heard that one. Yeah. All right, Caspian, <laughs> Janine, Kevin. When the herd moves, it moves. When the herd moves, is this a Johnny Depp reference? Oh, <laughs> what? Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? Nope. Oh, you capitalize no, the word herd. Not. 
No, it's British too. Oh, having to do with the parliament? Oh, uh, uh, Johnson. I think he said something about that, yeah. Probably. Yep. Yeah, okay, and last but not least, we have Deborah, Jamie, Faith and Romero, and Ron. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. When he was giving his speech, somebody had a poster that said something like that, or get get rid of your Johnson. It's like, oh. I think okay. Gail, Gail, Gail got it right now. For those of you, uh, Britain Britain cuts off his Johnson. It yeah. says uh -huh. Britain cuts off his Johnson. Oh, so so Gail, your your son thought of that. He came up with that yeah, one. Had that one. Gail <laughs> said that's her brother. He sent my brother. brother. Oh, my whatever. younger brother <laughs> whatever younger she's brother. like whatever <laughs> <laughs> brother or son brother father i don't know your relative somebody in your family <laughs> somebody that shares your last name my but brother's anyway. 10 years younger than me and someone thought i was his mom i just <laughs> laughed <laughs> that just happened to me just a few minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> hey we were there yeah we had a um Thomas John, you guys, the psychic medium that I'm always after. I had a I had a call with a reporter from the New York Times yesterday, but it wasn't. Well, I don't know. It's not anything big that's happening. We were just having a conversation about stuff, and he kept calling him. He kept saying um, John Thomas. <laughs> People are always doing that too. They're always mix mixing his name up, and I always apparently slap. that means the same thing as a Johnson. Kind of right? That means the same thing as a Johnson. Yeah, I did not same know that. Thing. It's not his real name, right? His real name is Thomas John Flanagan, but he had a lot of criminal oh, okay. activities and his father is a sociopath and prison, went to prison for, for, for abuse. And um, so I think he got rid of the Flanagan. Plus he had a lot of stuff on the internet he had to, went to avoid that had to last for Flanagan. He, he, was, he started out as Tommy Flanagan. That makes sense. Ooh, Tommy boy. <laughs> No, Tommy Flanagan is uh, John Lovett's character, the pathological liar. Uh, oh, well, that's... He pronounced it Fl Flanagan, Tommy Flanagan, yeah. Oh, is yeah, that like... Okay. Yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah. So for somebody yeah. to say, oh, I remember him. That's a ticket. Yeah. Have you guys yeah. all seen uh, uh, Keeping Up Appearances? Crazy. Speaking of British, Keeping Up Appearances? The character's last name is Bucket, but she says her last name is Bucket. Okay. Bucket, okay. okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I it's not bouquet, B-U-C-K-E-T. Not bouquet, not bouquet. All right, so I think we're all here. We've got thoughts and prayers won't help our score either, either, versus we plead the fifth, versus the British Amazons, versus when the herd moves, it moves, versus Britain cuts off its Johnson. And the leaders today, we're going to start off with um, Karen, who, and then hopefully she doesn't have any internet issues. She's going to, we're all going to pray for her, her internet. Uh, or she thoughts can run prayers. down here thoughts from her prayers. house and- Thoughts uh, and prayers, thoughts and prayers. She can get on my- Bless laptop. your heart. Bless your heart, bless your heart. And then versus, uh, okay, next is going to be Carl. And then we have Robin who hasn't joined us yet, followed by Kevin, followed by Jimmy doing the bonus and keep in mind that the following week the only person i have on the list is caspian so unless caspian's planning on doing the whole night mm -hmm. are you caspian what next week yeah i could do the whole night next week caspian's yeah. on caspian yeah if I, if I get stuck doing the whole week y'all are gonna have to answer a bunch of questions on like christology or something what on what bring it on oh the what? nature of the trinity yeah no yeah, oh yeah, Bob's like, one. okay, I got that one. Oh, bring right. it down. I never sure know any of the answers to any of the questions Caspian asks. I'll no, volunteer, so at least I'll know the answers to some of the questions. <laughs> yeah, put me down, Susan. I okay. Okay, Rob. You are <laughs> so low that the mole, the gophers in my lawn <laughs> are looking up to, down on you. You are, you've got your toes are so hairy that they are just don't call me Shirley. Look like somebody's hairpiece. Here, yes. Giuliani's hairpiece is on your toes. That I'm putting you down too. Would it's you so like us to down, put you down? The bottom looks like up to you. I'm not good at insults. Oh, I get it. 
<laughs> Shirley, you get it. So don't call Shirley, me Shirley. You get it. Quit calling me Shirley. Okay. I've given control to Karen, who's Ooh. going to lead the lead us off tonight in our episode, which is July 7th, 2022, game 114, season three, episode five. Here we go. Okie dokie. The category is mineral kinds, mineral kinds. And what is that? This is based on a, uh, tonight's uh, trivia category is based on a uh, July 1st article about a 15 year study that uh, led by a team working with the Carnegie Institute of Science. And it details the origins and diversity of every known mineral on earth. And then also in the 2017 Smithsonian Magazine article about it, the research, it talked about the research is using network theory. Some of you may be familiar with the mathematic uh, network theory, but they're using this to understand the complex ways that different uh, chemicals, biological and physical and uh, geographical parameters determine where minerals occur. So it's a whole new way of looking at minerals. And uh, it's based on a specific, uh, Leonard's not here tonight, right? It's based yeah. on a specific article. Did I miss him? No. Oh, okay. Uh, we can talk a, about him. Yeah, on a specific article. And that's what I'm basing this on. The article uh, on January that I'll give you links to later on. Okie dokie, artichokies. Uh, <laughs> I don't care if, I don't care if you're not. It, yes? As long as it's not National Reason Day. Well, you know, I totally thought you guys would be into that. I thought you were a bunch of reasonable. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Reasonable um, skeptics. No, no, I'm totally unreasonable. Okay. <laughs> the Ever first... since the lightning hit her multiple times. <laughs> How did you first... guys hear about that? <laughs> okay. The first question is multiple choice. And uh, it is, what are the names of the duo making up the studies team of researchers now you're not muted because it's more fun that way but please don't give any hints is the answer a marie and pierre curie two james watson and francis crick c robert hassan and shauna morrison d ben cohen and jerry greenfield or e williams for forsyth and sylvie guillem Gien. Gien. It's, it's, it's French. Gien. So it's, uh, you pronounce the L's. No, you no, don't. No, you no, don't. Not, not, in, not yeah. in French. You you don't. Don't. Just like in Spanish, you don't pronounce like, it. Like guillotine. Like guillotine. Are we going to have an argument about this? That yes. Is fine. No, Thank you so no, much no, for letting me know. Thank you so much for letting me know. I am still committed to leaving you unmuted. Okay. <laughs> so Wonder, two, wonderful question, Karen. Wonderful question. So number two, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, used, they used extensive database analysis to cluster kindred uh, species of minerals together and distinguish new ones based on when and how they blank rather than solely on their chemical and physical characteristics. Fill in the blank. Is it A, how and when they felt like it? How and when they were, how and when they were viewable with the world's smallest optical spectrometer crafted with a single nano, nano wire less than 100 uh, met metrometers long and subsequently rated? Because or how and when they originated or how and when they were discovered? Multiple choice. Okay. Uh, micro, those are micro micrometers. micrometers. I, micrometers. Micrometers. Uh, sorry. I think they're That's, microns. Uh, micrometers. Micrometer. Yeah. That is micrometer. Micrometer. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Or that just symbol, mama. That symbol is micrometer. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to mute us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's stalling long enough for me to get all these questions in the chat. I mean, in the um, I, IG. I find you. I sent you a word file, Susan, to try and make it easier for oh, you. Oh, she's yeah, but then I'll know the questions ahead of time. Right. Okay. Before you read them. So now number three, if I can get back to you. Okay. Number three is uh, plus or minus uh, quite a a number. Their work indicates that the number of mineral kinds, a term coined by them in 2020, totals more than 10,500. In comparison, the International uh, 
Mineralogical Association recognizes about blank number of mineral specimens on the basis of crystal structure and chemical composition alone. What is that number, plus or minus 1,000? 10,500 being a... Uh, oh, so you said spec you read it specimens, but it says species. What, oh, thank it, you very much. Is species correct? I appreciate that. No, what is written is correct. Okay. Whatever is written is correct because I cut and pasted and then removed things. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Okie dokie artichoke. Uh, number four, their work indicated that more than blank percent of Earth's minerals are uh, mediated by water, which is therefore, um, Bob, maybe you would want to mute yourself when you're talking with the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> That is, there is a statement I don't think I've ever thought I'd ever hear. Uh -huh. <laughs> work, yeah, but I get the computer's going to reboot. Their work indicates that more than blank percent of Earth's minerals are mediated by water, which is therefore fundamentally important to the mineral diversity on our planet. And this is plus or minus 10%. Let me put that in there. Plus or minus 10%. So I tried to... Yeah. Take Karen. When Karen yeah. said that, I was gonna start clucking like a chicken just to <laughs> Karen. Just if you could could you post before you start reading so we could read along with you and it would help because the questions are kind of long and and if we could read as as you spoke, it would help make them sink in. I hear what you're saying. Number five. You feel our pain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. I think it was a perfect question. Okay, I'm having trouble with the cut and paste here. Jeff taught me how to do this. Did he teach you properly? Well, I was doing it. Okay, there we go. False or true, according to this research, pyrite forms in 26 different ways, the most of any mineral. That's false or true. And number six, some 296 known minerals are thought to predate Earth itself, of which 97 are known only from blank if you know the answer that sentence will make sense okay number seven cut paste post false or true the oldest known mineral crystals are tiny durable zircon crystals that are almost 4.4 billion years old false or true number eight good gravy gravy <laughs> is gravy good i love gravy it's small it's the gravy. Um, the gravy. <laughs> number eight Hundreds of minerals have derived from human activities, including 234 that were formed by fires during what process? Hundreds of minerals have derived from human activities, in including 234 that were formed by fires during what process? Okay, number nine, false or true? False or true, enter. T tourmaline is the most common mineral with the element boron. Oh, Bob, your chicken is adorable. I love chickens. Okay, now here's number 10. We're having chicken tomorrow. I had some tonight. I got some. I got a chicken here, but it's with curry. 
<laughs> is that the name of the other chicken? No. It's, it's uh -huh. All right. Yeah. There is no bonus. This is this is all, folks. Okay, number ten. Multiple choice. Humanity has yeah. manufactured countless thousands of mineral-like compounds that don't qualify as minerals by the International Mineralogical Association standards, but do qualify as, quote, mineral kinds by this research team's methodology. That's the name of this category, mineral kinds. Which of these are included by them, them being the researchers in this project? A, semiconductors, B, laser crystals, C, synthetic gemstones, D, all of the above, E, none of the above. And those are the 10 questions. Do you have any queries about the questions? Um, yeah, Karen. Yes. Um, without giving anything away on the true false things, how do I ask this? If, if it is false, the total, the to, the totality of the statement is true without the little small words. I wouldn't say, um, you know, it, it say it says most common there, and it wouldn't be mostly or not okay. not very or something like this. So it no would, little picky things. It's no, either... no, the whole thing is the whole statement true, uh, broadly. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, or like to say uh, with the element boron and aha, boron isn't an element, it's a wedge of butter, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> right here's my cookbook, yeah. Is that a hint? Makes, uh, homeopathy, oh. right? <laughs> Whole well, thing is so, well, well, I can't believe now, it's not boron. Wait a minute. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Karen, if boron was not an element. Yeah. And the rest of that was true. You would say it's you could ignore the fact that you called it an element when it's not an element. Well, I would hope I hope someone would call me into the room and saying, what are you saying here? Boron is not an element, which is an, not I, I'm using that as an as, as, boron yeah, yeah. Is an element. This yeah, yeah, is not yeah. the point. Here's an example. Okay. I would hope you would call me into the room <laughs> to clarify and then I would share it with everybody. OK, we'll definitely call you into our room. Woo <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okie dokie. Well, that is her room. OK. Let's go. Uh, break out. The, go play. Be, let's go. Kevin, I need to put you in a room. You're bouncing out. If I had to go, four. my computer shuts down at 10. Your pooter shuts down yeah. at 10? It does, yeah. On purpose? Okay. Oh, who did the, uh, oh. That is Gail. Yeah. Look at that fancy. Hey. Did that. Oh, cool. I have no idea. Good luck. Well, everybody. all right. We can do process. We can do at least in one. We can do some elimination. Uh, it's not going to be the curries, uh, the curies. Uh, it's not oh. going to be uh, Ben Cohen and J Jerry Greenfield because that's Ben and Jerry. Oh, uh, and it's not yeah, be I thought they did Crick. something else before they started the ice cream company. It's not Watson and Crick, so it's either C or E. I don't know either of them though. Okay, what are the names of doing studies? So then the last one would be what? William Forsyth and Sylvie Gulliam. 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 So why don't we just, yeah. Well, Robert I, I Hayes and, and Shauna. Can you not all see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, I can see it. So it's a recent study. Well, I like the, I like the, I like the names, the sound of the names. I like the William Forsyth one. I think yeah, this, I like I like the sound of the names. I have no idea if it's right or wrong. Very recent. It's fine with me. I have no. I don't know. I I know who they aren't, but I don't know who they are. So, so I think uh, I think E would be the correct answer. Okay. But again, if, don't quote me on it. Don't, you know, I'm just making a guess. We are going to quote you because we're going to put that as our answer. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> okay. They used extensive. I'm in trouble. Well. I'm having a big problem since I don't even understand most of these questions. I don't know. All right, well, we got to read this one. Actually, here. I do understand these questions. So. Good. Oh, well, there you go. I do understand them. Whether I know them or not is. I'm suspect it wasn't felt like it, right? I doubt it's a. Attract. Two sounds very specific. It also well, sounds like the kind of thing you make up if you don't know if you want to make an answer that looks good. Uh, they use extended. Uh, That's pretty sad that we're having to go through this 
trying to figure out the answers. Species based on, based on how they attract the rather than they solely solo on their chemistry. Usually it's based on when they were discovered. I was thinking that given that there are yeah. other questions about time, that that makes sense. I yeah. think that's good. I think it's the... the oh, oh, it's oh, I forgot it's a multiple choice. I'm trying to make up with it. Uh, yeah. It sounds like it's going to be a smaller number, right? Yeah, I'm inclined to get it to go smaller. The question is how much smaller? Um, do you want to do you want to go 5,000 or would it be bigger than that? You have the plus or minus. No, it's going to be it's, oh, it's 10, smaller. 000. It's smaller than 10,000. Right. Yeah. But how, how much smaller? Yeah, I have no idea. Let's go 8,225. Well, oh, you're going to make it easy. Just, on it, huh? Just want to just go 8,000. Yeah, 8,000 gives us a little more range there. Yeah, sure. Okay. I like how Karen's covering your mouth so she can't. Karen, uh, put on a, uh, a mask uh, from your uh, thing there. Um, they're working in case. This uh, computer can't do that. My other computer crashed, uh, and I got this one, and I can't do any filters. So she has right. to use her hand, you know, that. That old school. With the hand. <laughs> sure. So where can you get more than blank percent of the person else? Oh, I was thinking, how about something like 80%? Because that would uh not 80, 90%, because that would give us the 80% or like it's probably a high percentage if it's, it's gonna be high. It, yeah. it would be so if, you do, if we do 80%, then that gives us 70 uh and not 80, if we do 90%. It gives us that the, all the 90s and it gives us 80 and up. So, uh, yeah. 90 means that you, you're leaving, you're leaving 100, right? It's yeah, not going to be 100. It's, it's fairly high. Well, I then like if 80. you want it, so 80 or 89. I, I'll go with either one of those. You want 80, 89? 80 is fine. 80? Well, I, 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 I'm wondering if 80 is too low. Well, that gives us up to 90. Yeah, but it doesn't give us above 90. To it's like it what percent? Yeah, I guess. All right. 85? All 85 right. sounds good. Yeah. Okay. I love the way she writes false or true. Everybody else says true or false. Yeah. <laughs> She's unique. Okay, I have no, no way of. I would probably say that's true. Any particular reason why? It's a, I read it somewhere, I think. All right. Uh, I thought to predate Earth itself, which. Uh, I don't even understand that question. Now I'm okay. wondering, is it possible that they know these things because they were found in moon rocks. No, um, they're from uh, under, uh, un underwater volcanoes. Oh, okay. That sounds like a good answer. Yeah. Or volcanoes. I don't know. She has one answer, so volcanoes. Volcanoes. <laughs> what? They, 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 but is there an E in volcanoes? No, and it's going oh, who cares? Out. It's volcanoes. Nobody's the, the only thing is it, 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 it's predating Earth. Volcanoes. Oh, so that doesn't mean you can't have it. You still, you can't. How do you spell volcano? volcano? It, 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 <laughs> yeah, volcanoes are. I just from asked That's they're from Vulcan. We, we, that's uh, yeah, right. You know, oh, you know what the answer is. So what it is is. What she's what they're saying is 
That, there you go. I think that looks right. Um, yeah. So many vowels. They're they come time. from the magma and plasma and stuff like that. And they form. It makes sense. Kind of, yeah, kind of after the after when it cools and stuff, and then yeah, you wouldn't want to touch it while it's uh, in the uh, lava form. You don't or think maybe you would. I don't know. You don't think it's moon moon related. Right. I like the idea of moon related. Well, well, if it's moon related, then uh, how would we? How would you you have gotten it from the moon? Is it from they they because the they they got it when they were there and they, they brought back samples. Or do you or do you think it's from um, like uh, a lot. Uh, uh, meteorites? Yeah. Well, I know that could be. Uh, I think yeah. that's I think that's more likely than 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 the volcano. So meteorites, uh, then? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, meteors. Because um, I I've because I'm just thinking something from outer space that's bringing in bringing in stuff that we wouldn't have been able to find here on Earth without having been visited. That makes no, sense. That, that actually makes more sense than the volcanoes. Although I did hear something about volcanoes. Well, we'll find out. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. So, uh, for the oldest known crystals are crystals are tiny, durable zircon crystals that are almost core. I would say that that's false. Zircon, I think, is. Um, a man-made crystal. Really? Okay. Also, I mean, that's basically how old's the Earth? The Earth. The Earth. That's about the age of the Earth. Minerals, crystals, tiny durables, or you know, if 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 yeah, if if Leonard was here, we could ask him because he was there at the beginning. So. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hundreds of minerals were derived from human activities, including to the earth form plant layers. I'm surprised this isn't a bonus question. Name, name, oh, 10 of uh, those 230. Minor rules. Minor rules. <laughs> um, I have no idea. Fires during what process? Vulcan, the Vulcan only thing I could think of was cooking. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, from uh, fire string, what process? Um, uh, steel making, uh, steel making. Well, forge, uh, forging, forging, maybe. For, yeah, forging just means made good. by fire, right? They're looking, yeah. I think she's looking for something more specific, like what were we doing? We're doing, what What do we do with fire? We make steel. That would create hundreds of minerals. Well, it couldn't be something like cooking, probably, or. Well, no, why could it not be something like making steel or iron? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, forging, like using a if, forge. You know, that's really hot. It's man made. You think that would create 234 different minerals? Oh, what would be hot? It's awfully it's man made. But it's awfully, that's an awful lot for one. Uh, atomic uh, fusion, atomic fusion. It couldn't um, be nuclear. I mean, they don't use fire. I like that idea. What's uh, the process of uh, compression? Would it be compressing? Fires, though. It says fires. Uh, okay. Says fire. would they, could they possibly have found something after a nuclear explosion? No. How about lightning? Oh, no. It can't be lightning. It's not human made. Ask Ben Franklin. Ben? I like the idea of atomic things because we certainly have had that happen. They certainly, as they're doing some atomic, uh, the various atomic researches, they have created new, 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 not necessarily new minerals, but new. Um, um, and I mean, conceivably, they found in investigating the, what was left of uh, of Hiroshima and Nagasaki doing some you know studying i'm sure there were studies done there and when they when they blew up some of those atolls in the uh in the south pacific you know uh 
with atomic uh, with atomic tests. But would you say that those are fires? That's right. Sure as hell caused a lot of fire. Well, it says the way she's fire. The question, it, it was like by a, fires, not yeah. So that, I think that, it's and of course it sounds like something. Two hundred and thirty-four is a big number. So I'm thinking it's something had, that happened yeah. over long periods of time, a long time ago. Forging I'm thinking down. it's a normal kind of activity, right? That why don't we fire. why don't we put forging down and then go on to the other ones? Okay. Sure. Formaline is the most common. I don't even, I don't understand. With the element boron, what does with the mean there? I don't know what tourmaline is anyway. Never heard of it. I did hear of it, but. It sounds like something you put on your, 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 your skin for a, for a rash. Uh, what does it mean to say the most common mineral with the element boron? The other one, I don't understand. I don't even understand the statement. I would, I would probably say that's false. Or it's just saying that the two are equally common. Well, yeah, yeah that's, that's the only thing that makes any sense. So are they equally common? Boron, I know of. I don't know what tourmaline is. So it doesn't sound like something that would be equally common. Fine, so call it false. OK. And then we'll blame you. Okay. I'll always take the blame for things I don't know. And I think okay. that answer is uh, all of the above. You sound very confident about that. Yeah. That, that, well, that sounds yeah, possible anyway. Yeah. Because you can get semiconductors from uh, certain types of crystals. Well, Math. that means that that's eliminated two of the answers. So all of the above is a good answer then. Okay. We have answers for everything, it appears. Uh, which no. one, well, yeah, we do. Yeah. I think that number three was, uh, uh, was possibly a uh, question in number four. But... Uh, I mean, we're guessing anyway on on four. We're guessing on three too. Yeah, but four, four we're trying to find a number that would give us the best because we figure it's still probably high. Well, I can't imagine that it's a hundred, which is why I like the eighty-five because it would be. Well, it can't be. It can't be a hundred. It go down to so it'd be seventy-five to ninety-five. If we go to ninety, then we're including a hundred in our answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. But I was just thinking, if uh, if, if we're thinking it's still in the high nineties, that you if you did ninety or eighty nine or something, you'd creep right up to ninety nine. But I ninety nine. Do you it's think it's as high as ninety nine? I no, I have no idea. It is. It is very high. Yeah. Well, very this would like, this would give us up to ninety five percent, which is awfully high. You think yeah. it's higher than ninety five percent? I I wouldn't think it's that high. No. Okay, so 85 is a good number then. It gives us from 75 I think to 95. 85, I think 85 is a good number. Okay, let it be known that I do think it might be higher, but I'll go with the 85. Okay. Go with 86. Well, so no, then like I'm, I'm, in, I'm inclined. <laughs> if I'm going to go higher, I'm inclined to go to like 89. I love your hat, Susan. It's kick ass. Um, Susan, when you were talking about the, the, the story with the um, animals, the um, raccoons, mm -hmm. it reminded me of one that someone told me about the human, from the Humane Society in Michigan. Uh, they said that they got a call. There is a, a, a skunk in my basement. What do I do? And they said, you don't want to go near him because he might spray you. So make a, a, a trail of breadcrumbs from where the skunk is in the basement up the stairs and out the door and leave the door open and go away. Oh, that's good. And two hours later, they get another phone call back. How many skunks were I, there? I was, there were two skunks <laughs> in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. We're, we're pretty lucky in our city in that we don't have skunks. It's 
mostly uh, uh, Eastern Canada kind of thing. When I lived, we don't have them like, here in Las Vegas, but when I lived why? in Michigan, raccoons were everywhere. I mean, raccoons in your garden was just life. And a friend of mine had a garden she really loved, but she didn't want to kill the raccoons. So she live trapped them and then drove out way out in the country in the car and let them loose miles away from the house. And she wanted to, to make sure because she had a suspicion that it was the same raccoons all the time. So before she let the raccoon out, she dropped some paint on its back so she could identify it, right? She let it out in the country. She drove back home. And when she got there, the raccoon was, that raccoon was already there eating in her garden. He got back <laughs> faster than the car. And she couldn't figure it out until she realized she was using the sewer system as, a, as an expressway. That's ours too. <laughs> yeah, well, we... We've got uh, we we've got uh, an issue with uh, they're very cute but they can they can kill everything. We got all these chipmunks. Uh, oh, I love so, these chipmunks. Yeah, but they but they eat away and they kind of compromise your foundation and, and the walkways and stuff. But we were told if we do do a live trap, we've got to take them yeah miles away because they can find their way back. So uh, she took she took him they, she took him twenty miles away. He got back before she did. So yeah. We don't. I, I, the I thing is, the raccoons the won't eat anything. They won't eat anything but the cat food. I could have fruit up on the counter. They never anything. They won't touch anything but the cat food, and they also won't touch my garden. So I, I don't understand it. Well, you must want the cat food. It's raccoon. good cat food. It's I'm's cat food. You know, it's like weight control and hairball control. So you have very, you have very spoiled raccoons. Mm -hmm. I used to get upset that not that the raccoons ate the bird seed I put out for the birds, but that they would eat the bird feeder to get at the bird feeder. Oh, okay, well, so we're done, Karen. Okay, I came back here thinking that I had to be here when I close rooms, right? Right. Okay, you go back to the main room, room, then hit close rooms. Ah, okay. But you have to be here first. Yeah, so you're so you're come here first, pass, go, and then go. Yeah, okay, I will, I will close the rooms. Room. Okay. Thank you, friends. Uh, and I go back there by clicking leave room. Oh, we close room. Oh, leave room. Thank leave you. Room. When she's in the main room, then she closes rooms. And that way that when it's over, they'll she'll be suggested back to this room. Will we have like the minute to get back or will it close out completely? It'll close. Or yeah, there, there we go. Yeah. If you <laughs> But we can but you, you were talking. You were, hang on. But you were talking about the food. I mentioned it last. I think maybe last week. Um, I was working on a piano, and uh, and there was evidence of you know there were mouse droppings around. It was a real mess, you know. So I was taking it, and I started, and I noticed that the keys were kind of sticky. So I started lifting up the keys, and I see there's like this candy under all the keys. So I, I took all the keys off, and the whole bottom, the whole section under the keys was filled with this this colored candy or biscuit or whatever it was so i call a lady down and says come take a look what you got there she goes oh my god i've been trying to figure out where all the cat food went the mice were taking that was taking were taking the cat food and putting them in the piano so i said what happened to the cats well the cats don't like the mice they go after the the spiders uh, <laughs> oh my goodness okay see uh, over, nice. see okay, over good, good job team south, TV oh. south park movie yeah that's where this, this is from Splunk. All right, here we go. Good Welcome time, back. Karen. I had no idea. I didn't Splunk the log search company? Yeah. Welcome nice. back, everyone. Okie dokie, artichokies, for the third time. I say that. Um, we are giving Keep answers. <laughs> We're giving answers, and uh, we will put them in the chat. I will put them in the chat. And here we go. The answer to number one, uh, several of you, yes, you picked up on, uh, you picked up on that one, that the people that are in there were famous for other things, and that was given to uh, give you a hint about that. So the answer was, in fact, here we go, one was C. You may mm. have known that the Curies were physics and radioactivity, um, and uh uh, Watson and uh, Francis. Also, Craig. It would have been hard for them to publish a paper uh, this recently. DNA. 
Ben and Jerry's. D was Ben and Jerry's of Ben and Jerry's ice cream fame and Forsyth and uh, Guillaume. Uh, do, did have chemistry, but on the dance floor as choreographer and chemistry. We got that wrong. <laughs> but I but I tried to give them to you. You know, some people thought, oh, that sounded familiar. It must be these people. And I meant to help you get the right answer. Oh, look, there's Troy. Hi, Troy. I deferred a lecture by Robert Dawson. Yeah. 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 Very good. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, there's Troy right there. Where? where? Yeah. Everybody say hi to Troy. He's on Adrian's screen. Hi. Hi, Troy. Hi, Troy. Okay. He's accents. No. <laughs> oh, he does the best accents. I think he should do the Trove section. Okay, go ahead. The engines are fairly, Captain. Okay. So the answer to this one, and I'm curious how many people put another answer. The answer to uh, C is they based it on uh, how and when C, how and when they originated. Hey. Yay. Okay. Yay. okay. And uh, there you go. And I totally made up that really uh, B. Did anybody yeah, follow it? Was great. It was uh, techno babble. <laughs> yeah, it kind of made me uh, think something's not right here. You, okay. know what, you know what gave it away though? If, if, if you said if you said wide for the wire, not long, that made no sense. Well, but actually, I I did look up the definition of a spectrometer, and I cut yeah. and pasted that. That was the definition of a spectrometer. Uh -huh. Wow. And a spe and 100 uh, micrometers is 0. 0.004 of an inch, folks. Isn't that something? Okay. So uh, that was two. That was two. Number three. Number three, the answer. Oh, my gosh. I heard people get the right answer and talk themselves out of it. That never happens, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the answer to three was 6,000. Yes. Plus or minus on that? Plus or minus 1,000. Oh, we started there. Uh, okay. So 6,500 is good, good enough, right? Yeah. Why? Uh -huh. Kevin, you saved us. Uh, you, you guys picked one high and one low. I picked one right in the middle. You 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 <laughs> at the difference and gave it to us. <laughs> okay, and again, it's, it's a matter of whether you thought what their totals were expanded the knowledge base or or you know decreased it, right? So I thought plus or minus a thousand would help there, but okay, there we go. Okay, number four, you know how much water is mediated? Oh, and by the way, mediation me, being mediated in this way means brought about uh, as the result of physiological impact. That's what the, the technological uh, term there is. And the answer is 80%. So 70 to 90 is correct. Ooh, and by extension, we actually got it right. Well, there you yeah, go. that's great. And by extension, this explains one of the key reasons right. why the moon and Mercury and Mars have far fewer mineral species than Earth, according to their research. Okay, so number, um, so number five, number five. If I can cut and paste it here, it, and someone asked why I'm saying that's a little weird if they actually assume that because we we actually know so little about either of those places. So yes, this is this is all you know. We know what we know at the moment. We know it. And this is cutting edge for mineral research on this. No, planet. I understand the Earth, but like we've looked at, but there, like it's making zero, assumptions. Zero, 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 one percent of Mars, if that, and then they're going to make a statement like that. That seems bizarre. Well, if, again, if, if they said that. There, yes, this is this is all from their article, which I'll give you the link at the end. So they're yeah. pushing the envelope. They're pushing the envelope here. Okay, and why did I say false and true? Because Susan did that one time, and I thought it was. Uh, interesting uh, why do we say true and false and not false and true right. so i i put false Thank and true you, why do we false say washington is... i don't know <laughs> the answer well, to, to this is uh true pyrite oh. is so stable it forms both at high temperature low uh with with or without water with the help of microbes and harsh invite uh, environments and where there is no life at all so it's super um you know super here where's my here we go can you shift that right here is a picture of here's a picture of pyrite, one type of pyrite. Ah, there. With the little boxes at the top. Yes, isn't that amazing? Look at look at the pieces within it. <laughs> those are God's dice. Yeah, that is like God. Who says he doesn't, he doesn't play, play, dice play with those? Universe. Fascinating, huh? Yeah. Okay. He doesn't so play then, it anymore because he lost his dice in the rock. Okay. 
Okay, oh, number six was a fun one. How do you fill in the blank there? Um, um, 97 are no, they predate Earth. So 97 of those minerals uh, have come from where? If I can cut and paste number six, we will reveal what some of you surely got correctly, correct? And I don't surely. just, and, I, and when I say surely, I don't just mean surely. Call me surely. Yeah. Call me surely. Um, yeah. Six. Yeah. Meteorites. Meteorites. Ooh. Got it. Yay. I thought, At first I thought they it was, said volcanoes, and it's somebody else said, no, that's not right. And it's like, well, yeah, that wouldn't be right. Oh, we had a question. I thought it was uh, Pittsburgh. I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> really old city, huh? <laughs> Everybody's from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Okay. And then number seven, false or true, the oldest known crystals are, are tiny, durable. Um, okay. Why am I cutting and pasting? I can, type faster. I can just type faster. The answer here is, is not that. It is, it is <laughs> true. <laughs> it's it true. Is true. It is true. Quick question. Yes. And on, a, and on a side note, there are some individual mineral grains, mineral grains, not the whole, um, you know, uh, crystals that are estimated at 7 billion years old. Billion so, with a B. Before the uh, formation of our very solar system. But the Earth's only 6,000 years old. That's right. How is that possible? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't understand it. God, God. Maybe 10,000. Maybe 10,000. Oh, number eight <laughs> was fun. Okay, number eight was fun. Oh, we did like this one. We had a little discussion. Okay. I don't so know if Iceberg was in the answer though. Okay. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to cut and paste this, but I would like to, if you all will be silent without arguing with one another, I would like to just hear what each one of you thought on this, if the answer was on this one. And nobody oh. give a clue. Okay. So, room. Mm -hmm. One thoughts and prayers won't help our score either. I think we did. We put down uh, um, forging. Yeah, Forge. forges. Forging. Forging. Yeah. Hey, we plead the fifth. One person. Burning uh, coal. We, we yeah we flipped back and forth between some things and ended up on burning coal. Hey, the British Amazons. Nuclear detonation. Oh. <laughs> when the herd moves, it moves. Nuclear detonation. Ooh. Britain cuts off its Johnson. Melting. What? I, th I thought we had forging. We, I think we left with forging. Melting. Well, is that sort of the Did same? Is that sort of similar? Yeah. 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 What did you say, Faith? Melting. What, Faith? Forging, forging and smelting. Yeah. Oh, smelting. Melting. Okay. Smelting with an S. Heating yeah. metal. We melting it. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay, Karen. Okay. The, I heard uh, I heard a correct answer that I'm going to give a correct answer. It, the answer is coal mining. Oh. The processes wow. of coal well done, mining Doug. and the resulting Wait. fires. It it the fires. So uh, burning the coal, even accidentally. No <laughs> mining coal mining. No, but you said in the resulting mining. fires. Correct. So coal is coal is, the coal is burning. That's what yeah. creates the minerals. Yeah. Oh, so you're oh, saying oh, I'm sorry. Chanel of Florida. I, I misunderstood, Rob. Answer a perfect answer, Rob. Uh, yes, Rob. I'm sorry. I thought you meant individuals burning coal, using them in their daily lives. No, we didn't get well, general. We just burning. said coal burning, yeah. burning. Bar yes. bar barbecuing with the church. So, no, come on. So, in the process of coal mining, you know they mm -hmm. do things like all kinds of things, and and they mm -hmm. start fires in it, and and all these wonderful going, minerals that have happened, but it's. There, there in 1962, a fire started in Pennsylvania and I think in Trinalia, the whole town is burning. abandoned. I think wow. there's like two or three people that still live there, and the wow. fire is going to be burning for several hundred years. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you have a garbage like, fire like that. I should, yeah. I should drop out now. I don't think I'm going to beat that. <laughs> number nine, number nine about tourmaline. The answer there is why will it not let me just say it? There you go. True. It's true. So, is it true? true? Yes. And here's a picture of oh. tourmaline. If you've never seen tourmaline, here it's there's quite a variety, but there's one part. Oh, that's mm. Isn't that lovely? That. It looks like a drink. Yeah. It does kind of, huh? Can it looks a lot like a duck fart drink. I think somebody <laughs> could make a drink like that. Okay. 
And so then number 10, oh, what is the answer to number 10? <laughs> the answer to number 10 was, and again, this is according to their theory and their work and their definitions in this new way of doing this, is all of the above. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Right. Okay. And I made a mistake in putting none of the above below all, I mean, no. Yeah. You're right. You got it right. No, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. At first, I made a mistake putting not, switching those two, yeah. and I caught it <laughs> like, right before I came on here. Very good. And the link? The link is coming up. I'm going to give you two. One is the Smithsonian article in 2017. I recommend reading that so you can see what they thought about them embarking on this study, and then the the recent article in the Carnegie Science. Um, institution of science and what they came up with so it'll be controversial but it is interesting and um i found it quite fascinating okay um i Very hope good. you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed that category Very the links different. are there i did it was we interesting did. thanks karen you're yeah. welcome scores all right so thoughts and prayers won't help our score either i work at four scores. four Four. We played the fifth. Nine. Wow. The British Amazons. Six. When the herd moves, it moves. Seven. Britain cuts off its Johnson. Seven. Good category, Karen. Really good category. Except, except <laughs> category. the team that she that had the lowest score of hers. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's okay. I, We're going to come from happened. behind. It was mostly my fault. So I was like, you know. Well, I didn't help at all. Gonna do? <laughs> I didn't. I thought so, I knew Sometimes that's a good thing. Okay. Thank good you, job, Karen. Thank you, Karen. You got an average score of 6.6. .6, so that's right where you want to be. That's exactly good. Very good. All right. So we have Carl with the K. So they say. Some say. You ready? Yep. Okay. So uh, in 2005, the American Film Institute celebrated its 100th anniversary by compiling a list of the 100 best movie quotes to date. <laughs> so I'm going to be reading 10 different movie quotes. And then in parentheses, I'll have whether I want you to name the movie the or actor or actress or any of those combinations. So on some of them, you can name either or. You, you never have to name more than one, but I may give you more than one thing you can answer. So for the first one, you'll be able to act or answer either the character or the actor or actress, either it will be accepted for the answer. So, someone muting? Peggy. Who's got, who's got the power? Peggy. Peggy paying attention? Peggy's muted. Well, muted. Peggy no, muted no, no. herself. There we go. All right. So, I'll throw you a softball pitch for the first one. May the force be with you from 1977. Give me either the character or the actor, actress who said it. Number two, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not gonna take this anymore. From 1976, I'll take the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. Number three, Carpe Diem. Seize the day, boys. Make your lives extraordinary. 1989, I want the movie. Number four, Cinderella Story, out of nowhere. A former greenskeeper, now about to become the master's champion. It looks like America, it's in the hole, it's in the hole, it's in the hole. 1980, give me either the character or the movie. Number five. 
Number five from 1976. Is it safe? Character, actor, actress, or movie? Number six. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. From 1942, character, actor, actress, or movie? Number seven, from 1989, I'll have what she's having. Give me the actor or actress's last name. Number eight, from 1950, I am big. It's the pictures that got small. Character, actor, actress, or movie? Number nine, 1941, the stuff that dreams are made of. I'll take the character or the movie. And finally, number 10, there's no bonus, from 1931, listen to them, Children of the Night, what music they make, the character, the actor, actress, or the movie. There Good you go. Board. Good job. And there are obviously, there's a hundred of these, so there could be more rounds in the future. So I hope you like them. Send this away. Uh, Open. open all rooms. Hi team. Uh, hi team. Just going to be one of the times that uh, Carl screws his own team. <laughs> no, no, I know a couple of these. Oh, yeah, I, know I know a couple. No, of, but just a couple let of me. Ten. Here, you want me to just go down them? Sure. Oh, just it's one like at a time. One, I don't, I don't remember exactly which character. Obi Wan. Yeah. Okay. Two is network. Yep. Three yep. dead poet society. That one I didn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nineteen eighty nine. Wait, wait, wait! You're going too fast. Wait. Dead poet was that? Was that eighty nine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four is Caddyshack. Character was Carl. Is it safe? Is that from Jaws? Like, no, Running safe? Man. It's called Running Man. It was Lawrence Olivier and, and Dustin nice. Hoffman. He was an old Nazi criminal and he was he was wanted to get to the gold that he had hidden, but he didn't want to. Right? Got it? Yeah. Remember? Six was Lou Gehrig. Yeah, yeah Lou I think it was the Lou Gehrig yeah. story. And then no, it was Pride of the Yankees. The, char it? the character was Lou Gehrig. I, I don't remember who played oh, Pride of the Yankees. Name, so I'll just go I with think Lou it was Pride of the Yankees, but yeah, Lou Gehrig, the character, if, if the character, yeah. Yeah, coincidentally named, uh, you know, with the same disease thing, right? Yeah, so. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How do you spell yeah, Gehrig? G-E-R-R-I-G? G-E-H-R-I-G. Yeah, the odds that he would get it with a name like yeah, that. That's just, yeah, that's just, you can figure that out. Have? Uh, so I see that coming. So the scene is Meg Ryan doing it, but who's right. the actress who said that? I don't know who that woman. You was. know who it is? is? No, it's Carl Reiner's wife, it's <laughs> Carl Reiner. <laughs> so the movie was called what? It's when, when Harry, Harry met, met Sally. Sally. Harry met, I never saw it, but I know the line. Yeah, I did not know Reiner. that. That was Carl Reiner's wife. <laughs> so her last name is Reiner. Okay, Carl Reiner. That's a good one. Um, Rob Reiner. Didn't Rob Reiner's that. mom. Eight. Sunset Boulevard. Oh. I played a clip of that in uh, in mine. Remember, it was it was the uh, Mandela effect thing. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Nine. Is that the? Um, Nineteen forty-one. Is that? Oh, the, that's uh, Casablanca, I think. Right. No, I th no forty-one. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, it might be. Like yeah. older, right. isn't it? No, it was about World no. War Two. Yeah, well, it was the onset of World War Two. Yeah. yeah, no, it was the build-up to World War Two. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 
I think, yeah, that I was thinking I don't, of. I don't uh, remember the line, but it could be. I've never seen that. The only thing I could think oh, of wow. is uh, there was a uh, Midsummer Night's Dream with uh, Stuff that Jimmy Cagney, but I that I think that was in the 30s. So I, yeah. So I, no, so I think who, you might who, be right. So who do you said? Who do you think said the line? In what context? I don't know. I've never seen the movie, but I remember. You either. Oh, that is so weird. I yeah, I know this bit of oh, trivia. How do you know it, Rob? You've seen the movie? Oh yeah, yeah, plenty of times. That's why. Yeah, Lee, you guys spent a lot of time at the watching stuff. I'm just. I haven't seen it in probably three decades, but I. I, I yeah. It was rerun on New York television all the time. I watch it. I've been to the house a bunch of times. It's that? over in Culver City. What? <laughs> what? Okay, ten. You guys know ten. Listen to them, children. No, music they make. 1931. No, I yeah. wouldn't. If this question Drac had been, when was the earliest movie made? It would have been after 1931. <laughs> Dracula, <laughs> Bella Lugosi. Really? Hey. hey. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, okay. well, Carl didn't screw his team. Uh, we, we had a ringer. Yeah, thanks. So we sure? had Bob. Yeah. Bob's awesome. got him memorized. I think he was. Yeah, he was doing the voices and everything. That's the kind of stuff that sticks in my head. So whenever Carl goes again for a category, I want Bob on my team. Carl already said he's going to do a bunch more of these. Mr. Fourth of July, Mr. Sam, Uncle Sam. Yeah. Here. Very good. How's I everybody already, else? I already had this uh, this uh, kerchief, this uh, the little thing that I wear. The other teams are not gliding that. through quite as quickly. So if I uh, so if we close the room, they'd be pissed, huh? Close the rooms, close the rooms. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys already have nine. So we're, we're already, it's already 11 o'clock. Like, that would be a fun thing we could add to the game, like a way a team could rush and end the session early and cause people to run out of time. <laughs> oh, that would be really popular. <laughs> you know, like how in hearts, if you get all the tricks, you yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's why Since I don't play hearts. Got, I hate hearts. Because we got time, can I, can I tell... A story of why I thought of burning coal. Why did you think of that out of the blow? I can't yeah. imagine that being really when, interesting. But when I was very young, my I, we spent a lot of time at my grandparents' house. That was like you know fun time, and he, he had cool toys and stuff. And he he his he had a coal burning furnace. He later converted to natural gas. But when I was very young, he was burning coal. And after a while, you had to pull the clinkers out. Yep, Clinkers? my mom has talked about this. I've never heard this. Yeah, word. you know, Clinkers? yeah. Clinkers. Clinkers. Yeah, there, it's it's uh, the uh, the parts of the coal that wouldn't burn. You know, silicates and right. other minerals, okay. and they were subjected to this high heat. And we did a my we they did a thing once. My grandma read something you could do. So you take a clinker and you poured these various household chemicals over it, and then they put some laundry bluing for color. And then these crystals would grow out of the out of the clinker, and it looked really cool. And I remember doing that, like before I was even ten, I think. And uh, so I just thought of, oh, you know, that the burning coal and the clinkers and everything. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. That's that's what threw it in my, put it in my mind. So. so if we win this game by one point, we're going to have a party for Bob. Yeah. A fourth of July party. Childhood memory and of burn some coal. coal. <laughs> I haven't. Yeah. Well, I don't. Uh, are charcoal briquettes actually coal that you buy to put well, in a there's, barbecue? There's a little coal. There's charcoal, and and they they put some actual coal in it. All right. That's my only. And then a binder. Burning coal. And then a binder. And I haven't done so. that in ages because I've had a propane grill since I moved out on my own. But my parents' grill yeah. was they used coals. What they called coals. Charcoal briquettes. Oh, yeah. That's the best grilling. It's much easier to clean a propane grill, though. Huh? Yeah, I'll but you might as well tasting. use the stove. I'll take the food uh, tasting at uh, 10%. All right. Less good. <laughs> <laughs> I could just flip it off and it's done. Plus the absence of the carcinogens. Oh, uh, yeah, that sure. too. That too. We, we use our George Foreman a lot. We got a new one. You pull the, you can pop the plates out and wash them in the sink. And just like the real guy, if you buy a whole bunch of them, they're all named George. So they're all named George <laughs> yeah. Foreman. He did well with that endorsement. Did you hear Will Smith is going to endorse the slap chop? 
Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> What's a slap chop? <laughs> you don't remember the slap chop? It was one of those made for TV kitchen devices. You like put an onion in and then you just bang the top. <laughs> slap on, slap off. Well, no, just do that one. My, my daughter bought me one of those, but it's it's a pampered chef. It's the same thing, but it was a pampered chef. And uh, he harassed me about not using it that much because I it's a pain in the ass to clean. And yeah, unless, really, you're, I had one, yeah. unless you're chopping a bunch of stuff. So whenever I did use it, I would take a picture send it to him so i was doing enough onions that it was worthwhile to get yeah. your thing out how's carrie is she, where's she at she's gets she the sum her summer schedule has her working very early in the morning on friday oh morning. so it's too late for her to stay yeah she'll yeah she when in the fall she may she may come back and you know just depending on what her fall schedule is i think it'll be the same so if we're yeah, still playing she, right how many more uh, rounds are we going to play susan i know when the pandemic's over <laughs> so do you have all your categories set for uh, the skeptic out i have one i have to write but i wrote the others ages ago so i've got to have one more oh it's going to be so much fun you guys skeptic out oh there's a gsow category with with uh, uh videos of of uh of uh some of our editors who are oh, who are reading the question it's really it was fun it oh, was really cool. hard for me to pick four four or five people it was like oh this is hard but i said Wait, i could so, do the right. whole thing hmm? so i yeah so i bought a ticket and then i saw this this free thing so i so how does the whole thing work oh it's all over zoom but it's like a whole weekend so it's friday night is a social and then saturdays oh here comes robin and then Saturday is the just the conference with breaks and everything. So, but when is the trivia thing? Saturday night. Saturday night, okay. Because it's that, all is right. That of, is that part of the paid ticket, or are we going to have people who didn't pay to do that? Uh, no, you don't have to pay. So we might have a bigger attendance than like people from this. If you advertise, it might show up. Yeah, even maybe. Though, even though maybe they didn't want to pay for the so yeah. Yeah, maybe, but it's like thirty bucks to join the the conference for mm -hmm. a full day and there are going to be some amazing talks yep. the sunday papers that i've organized oh my god got some great talks in there i was listening to him going you went above and beyond i'm like you know for sunday talk who's, who's talking who's doing sunday i've got uh janice is going to do a talk um uh linda rosa is doing a talk <sighs> um uh abhijit abhijit from uh india is doing a talk oh, yeah, on yeah. covid covid practices covid in uh, india the uh pseudoscience a rational he's a rational yeah. uh conversation yeah, and uh brian ago from who runs the scotland skeptics uh the uh and the glasgow skeptics i talked him into it and i said oh my gosh dude he's like oh can we do this can i do that and i said i want you to talk about I running do this susan he says, I want to run. He says, I want to do a talk about, I told him to do a talk on how you can keep, how you kept the group going through the, through the um, pandemic. We're, and he's we're fucking done, funny as heck. <laughs> he's really funny. And then um, Andras is going to do a talk. And I think that's it, right? Let me see. Did I name everybody? There's five all together, I think. Uh, oh, so and I, we have a guy whose name is Joel. I didn't recruit him. He's one of the members of the Barry Skeptic. He's blind. So he's going to talk about um, his, his being what's blind. His last name? I think I know, I think I know who, what's his last name? That sounds familiar. Joel, I don't remember. Falk? F A L K, I think. No, that doesn't sound But he's, he's not. I, I watched his talk. He did a really good job. A little long, but it's still really interesting about a person who's, who, who is a, a seeing person. And becomes blind because of a, a did you know, some kind generative of, thing. Yeah, it was a slow process, not like a sudden wake up one morning and you're blind, but accident or something. Yeah, yeah like an accident. Or something. He talks about what it's like to walk across the street with a busy street with uh, uh, for the first time by yourself. You're fine. Mm. So, really, so I, really I, I applied. I applied for the Sunday papers for Psychon. Did you? Um, so are those open till when? Oh, it's late, like August something or other. Uh, they tell you late, so I'm I'm determining if I'm going to go. And why would I'm, you not go? I can't I'm have. still not going anywhere. I don't have to, so it's a thing. But if I, you know, if if they take me, then I think that'll be the last run. I will. So, 
Is everyone back, Carl? Are we just waiting here for no, no reason? No, nobody's back. Uh, I don't back. think anyone's back. Okay, good. I think other teams are just Wait. like okay. going over their final ones that they're trying to get answers to. But they're okay. Bob, you're going to really be hurting if you do not go. I'm telling you. Hi, Carl. Hey, Su Hi, yes, Susan, Bob. this was recorded because you were in here with us, right? Yes. Oh, neat. Why? I can clip it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 because Bob got them all, so there you go. Oh, that's true. That's right. So you, you can look like you're the winner all the time. You're the, you're the. I'm the trivia I'm, chap. I know all the I'm answers to all the trivia. Here's I know all the time. Here's one random example from all the games we played. <laughs> Carl, <laughs> Carl, and Kyle, don't you guys agree? What? You have to go to Psycon this year. I would say so. Yeah. I mean, barring. Um, a, a, a ref complete reflame of the pandemic right yeah it's a little i mean the, the great thing is nobody can use the excuse oh i went to last year's icon i can't afford to go every year <laughs> and or the one before that right i mean yeah. i'm so, interested so, so, in what so the attendance will be because if it weren't for the pandemic, right. I would, like if, if the pandemic was completely cleared and gone as of yeah. yesterday, You'd have I would think attendance would be really high because there's right. all these people right. who haven't gone who normally go every other year or every third year. Yeah. I want Bob yeah. to go and wear his I, outfits, I went, right? I went three years in a row and then the pandemic happened. Bob, can you go and wear your outfits to ring? Go where? The, to Saigon, and they'll think where you're back. In Vegas, I'm here. Are you not looking at my background? So my background. Look at his background. October twentieth, twenty third, Las Vegas, baby. Yeah, I want a hotel. I would. I. I can't. I'm. I'm poor. Um, I would. I really would want to go to the, the, the excursion. Uh, ah. RFR excursion. Ah. I really wanted to go. What excursion? I, I don't know. The recovering from religion has an annual excursion, which also they didn't do an annual, the pandemic. It's a weekend. Years. Yeah. Oh, this but is gonna be more fun. It would be. I'll be there. I, yeah, it would be a lot more to, fun. I would love to meet, you know, actually meet face to face with a bunch of people that, you know, mm. that I have a lot of common. Too with. bad you're not one of my GSW editors. I have two five hundred dollars scholarships not, on anyway. I, I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I'm not. I'm not focused. I'm not disciplined. I'm not. I can't. I, I have a very short attention span. I, All right now, that you I, realize I, that was all recorded too, Bob. Yeah. Well, he's going to clip <laughs> out what he wants to clip out. <laughs> he's going to clip out the part where he no, was scoring I, everything. I, I think, Bob, you need to do some good deep fake editing on that last part of the clip. <laughs> so I am. I say, I, where's Bob? Is he Bob. Here? I am very focused. I am really organized. You got to just change it a little bit. Bob answered all the questions in the category. Just yeah. boom, 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 pretty, boom, pretty boom, boom, boom. And he says, oh, we're recording this. I can clip that. <laughs> well, we'll see if he got them all right or not. Yeah, I yeah. think he did. Oh, speaking of deep fakes, have you guys heard about the Zelensky deep fakes that are going around? No. I knew that would happen, oh. but no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. What do they say? Um, like you know things are going poorly or they're planning a surrender that kind of stuff oh uh, oh no yep expect it going has, forward has anyone done one of putin just saying you know i really love adolf hitler you know and uh, <laughs> I, I, i'm his man you know wouldn't uh, matter get wouldn't started matter. rob go ahead carl okay well i i contemplated playing each of these clips please but don't. that would take like 20 minutes and i'm yeah, not gonna do that don't. so instead I will uh, do this through PowerPoint, and then when I'm done, I'll paste the answers in. When I'm done, I'm cringing here because I'm watching. Can you all see my uh, screen? Yeah. What are you watching, Bob? Okay. I'm watching a baseball play where somebody got injured. Oh. So I don't know if anybody got the first one right. I didn't see any correct answers in the first one. What? There are two possible answers, neither one of which is Obi Wan Kenobi. He never says that. No. Oh. Oh no! Oh, shocker. So, Harrison Ford as Han Solo says, May the Force be with you. Moments after General Jar Dodonna, played by Alex McCrindle, says it during the trench run briefing. But oh, it is not said by Obi Wan at all in the entire movie. 
because Obi Wan says he actually the force said, will be with you always. The force the will be Bob. with you. Oh, that's always. what I was thinking of. Yes. Yeah. Oh, number two, Howard Beale, Peter Finch Network. I'm as mad as hell oh. that I'm not going to take this. I still haven't seen that either. That's that right. Yay. It's a very good movie, it and it's a, amazing yeah. how at the time <laughs> it was made and shown, universally, all the critics said it's so over the top and unrealistic. <laughs> Network news will never be anywhere near this bad. This is complete hyperbole, yeah. and it is not very far off the mark. <laughs> I highly recommend this movie Network. to anyone. Okay. Very good. It only yep. took about a half a century to get there, though. Yeah. Number three, Robin Williams. Oh, good folks. Is playing John Keating in the movie Dead Poet Society. Dead Poet Society is yeah. what I'm looking for there. The, the, the ans acceptable answers are in red. Carl Spackler, Caddyshack. Perhaps if oh. I had said it more like Cinderella Shuri. I didn't know where. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. for now. I saw that. I... Master champion. Oh, look, it, look, it looks like a mirror. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm recording this. That's, good. That's, that's better than the YouTube video. <laughs> Sorry, team. I, I, even, I, I even thought about that, but I didn't, I didn't think so. Number five, Lawrence Olivier, yeah. the marathon man playing Dr. Oh, oh the running man. That went wrong, Bob. Oh, so close. Well, I knew it was Olivier, though. So, you know, I, I knew it was Olivier. You yeah, know who that, I, he did I, say Olivier. He, yeah. I heard him say Olivier, but it's my team, so I don't. No, he did uh, say Olivier. But we, but we put the movie name down. We said Alan. Name. Do you know who else is in that no. movie? Dustin Hoffman. Oh yep. yeah, yeah. I said Dustin Hoffman too. I knew yeah. everything but the title. The two take. Title. So number six. Lou Gehrig character played by Gary Cooper in Pride of the Yankees. I want to cry oh, just, th just thinking that's right. it. Which, which was a question almost used in my last category of the phonetic alphabet, but instead I used Yankee Doodle Dandy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Seven. Estelle Reiner, Rob Reiner's director, mother. <laughs> oh, that's knew that. mother. I did not know who that woman was. Bob knew that shit. <laughs> Norma Desmond, played by Gloria Swanson in Sunset Boulevard. All right, Ron. All right. Yay, Peggy. Very good movie. All these I, are good. I actually played a clip Sam of Spade, her. Sam Spade, the Maltese Falcon. The stuff uh, oh. Oh. Ooh, bummer. And finally, I should have known that. for last. Yay. Bella oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we got that. Right. Yeah. Almost had that one. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. What was wow. what was nine? It was um uh, number nine. Maltese Falcon. Uh, Maltese number Falcon. nine was Sam Spade. And Maltese Would you Falcon. take Humphrey Bogart for number nine? No, nope, I specifically asked the number nine character. Okay, or but you said it in the answer though. Be careful. No, but but if in you looked red. at the answer, I said the acceptable answers are in red. Gotcha. Okay. It was not in red in the PowerPoint. Um, I came, I got knocked out and came back. Did anybody else put being there by mistake for four? No, we no, put Caddyshack. We put Caddyshack. Caddyshack. I'm, I'm pathetic. Oh, <laughs> Carl, I, 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 I was just trying to explain. I was trying to explain being there to Caspian. Yeah, he was I, a just, I couldn't, I couldn't think. Throughout though, how where I thought about Caddyshack too, but I couldn't figure out where where do you become the the master's champion in that movie? That's what he I don't didn't. know. He was talking to himself that way. Ah, uh, oh, was he? Yeah, such a, such I a haven't seen that movie either. I it's a wonderful movie. We if we listened to you on number ten, Karen, you would have been right. <laughs> but I was wrong about being there. <laughs> right. So we got both of them wrong because we used your answer for the one you were wrong on and we you didn't use it when you were right. Oh, shoot. Gosh, darn these. I'm trying to copy and paste from We tried. Things are moving around. Yeah. Least, and and the last one, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. So. Well, we, let's go to scores. We agreed. I'm going to screen share. Yeah. Uh, on the answer. 
let's see if I pick the right one that will make it so it works. Okay, here we go. So let's start with thoughts and prayers won't help our score either. What? She said six. Six. They're in the lead. Stop the go. Stop the go. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the British Amazons. Eight. And when the herd moves, it moves. Six. Britain cuts off. It's Johnson. Six. I wonder how many people in, in Britain are, have that same phrase they're all saying. Mm -hmm. I love the team names this week, guys. We plead the fifth. Seven. Oh. Okay. Uh, now, now I'd like to stop the counts. <laughs> Everybody see it? see it? 6.6, 6. another score of 6.6 6 for your round. Good job. And, Let's and, do a uh, nice photo. Everybody look pleasant. As always, I, I have attached a Word document and the PowerPoint. Where's Troy? Thank you, Carl. Oh, Anybody he's playing wants a video game now. Very oh, good well, can't be bothered to come over here and, and take a picture with everybody. <laughs> I loved it, and I learned a couple things. Caspian learned me on two of them. He learned you? He learned yep. you. <laughs> he learned me well. He uh -huh. he Caspian, did. did you learn him? How come you don't he learn did. me? He did on Dracula. Oh, Ooh, he knows. But, but we also thought the third one was Wall Street, and I agreed with him. So, okay, everybody ready? Carl, <laughs> you ready? One, two, three. Let's see if I got it. Oh. Kitty cat in there. Okay. Did it work? Did you get everything? I believe I did. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a link to something really quick. And then you guys can take your five minutes or leave or whatever you're going to do. But this is, we were talking earlier. Oops. We were talking earlier about the L. Ron Hubbard uh, thing that I have in my house. And here's where I've used it. It's just in the intro. Oh, let's save on this. It's just on the intro here. So it's only like about 15 seconds in. So enjoy that. But everybody, I'll see you guys in five minutes. So, what game is uh, Troy playing, Adrian? Oh, I don't know. You know, I'll, I'll play. he's got quite a few that he plays. So, yeah, I used to play Lord of the Rings online. Oh yeah. I used to, but not anymore. I played it for about eight years. We're watching Giants versus Padres, and there's a possible spinal cord injury here on the field it's oh looking, what oh my god um really? got, yeah there's a oh. uh, i'm sure you'll collision? see yeah it was a collision but then the guy tried to get up like three or four times and couldn't and so now they've got the the back brace out there they're going to load him up in a minute he's collision conscious two players or so padres player i don't know Ouch. What's his name, honey? Profar. Profar? Erickson Profar? That would like be my guess, yes. Profar or Crofar or something like that. Profar, P-R-O-F-A-R. P-R-O-F-A-R is the name of the guy. Uh, oh, poor guy. Yeah, hopefully he'll be okay. I mean. Uh, can he move at all? Well, he, he collapsed when trying to get up. And so like, they've got the doctor there is doing all kinds of little tests on him, moving his head from side to side and looking at his pupils and stuff, but probably not a whole lot they could do on the field. Yeah, but he did move. He's, he's conscious and yeah. talking, yeah. So, because if he moved, then yeah. It be I, don't, I don't know if he's wiggling his toes or not. But. Yeah, that's that's scary. I know it's not not. And they don't want him to move if there's if there's something going on, right? They want exactly. To... You want to keep him as immobile as yeah. possible. Yeah. He's holding up his hands like he's. So his his arms are moving just fine. He's he's smiling right now. Hopefully, there's just been abundance of caution. 
Yeah. I mean, if he has a bit of a concussion, that could have also caused him to. Totally, totally. It could cause a lot of things. Yeah. 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 That will clear up later. So, Adrian, are you going to the book club at all or? Have you kind of been done? Uh, this week I won't be able to either. I haven't been able to go the last couple of times. Last month I was in Newfoundland and this month my parents are arriving that night for a visit. Oh, yeah. First time in wow. three years, I guess. So I saw your pictures from Newfoundland. That looked really fun. And I saw your so, pictures yeah. too of Ireland and they, it looks a lot the same. <laughs> yeah, so Newfoundland and Ireland sisters. They, they even speak a lot like Irish people. It's very, Do they? It's yeah. very similar to an Irish accent, huh. uh, you know, with a Canadian spin on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, that's, it was because, fun. that's because a lot of them were from Ireland. Yeah, they were, yeah. Uh, like the, yeah. Well, I always think that the, the American accent is um, a sort of a a variant of the Irish accent, mm. the Irish mm. combined you know. with English combined with. Well, I think I think the Southern accent is a lot of English is kind of English mm. derived. Mm -hmm. I thought it was We're... French, but what do I? Know? <laughs> yeah, well, there was a lot of funny things, you know, in in Newfoundland too. It was. Uh... So where did you go exactly? Well, we, we, went, we landed in St. John's. We stayed there for four, four nights, I think uh -huh. it was four nights. And then we, we rented a car. We were lucky to rent a car. A lot of people couldn't get car rentals. We saw a lot of U-Hauls on the road. So people <gasps> rented U-Hauls. <laughs> to drive around. <laughs> yeah, because it, to rent a vehicle was either it, you couldn't get one or it was $4,500 for, for a, you know, 10 days kind of thing. So I think the same thing is happening all over because i think during covid a lot of the rental car of fleets just sold them off yeah and now they can't yeah. get them right they can't replace their inventory but yeah so we we were lucky we did get a vehicle and we drove around the island and we went to the extreme west so you know new uh, or st john's is on the east side of the island and we drove to all the there's fingers right and we drove all the fingers and uh and ended up staying at the extreme west and most northern of Newfoundland it was wonderful the the communities are beautiful they're tiny um when you get to a community that has 2,000 people you feel like you've really arrived you know <laughs> so it's, yeah and then St. John yeah. seemed huge when we went back to it and yet it's not very big either right so the, it's it's wonderful it was the 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 colorful houses everywhere uh, apparently I don't know I think we saw this in a museum where the the cut the, the reason that all the houses have different colors apparently is for the early days of navigating they could actually tell from this from the ocean they oh. could tell where they were by the colorful homes and lou would have loved i mean he's probably been to newfoundland but everywhere you go there is a at least a couple lighthouses so <laughs> there are lighthouses everywhere <laughs> I was thinking a loop. Very cool. Very cool. Did you hear any fiddle music at all? Uh, we actually didn't. There was one place where we contemplated going because they have uh, sort of a local thing to, you know, like a local people who play a lot of local music with the fiddles. Mm -hmm. And we just were still not quite comfortable to be in a packed room. Yeah. Well, yeah. with the with COVID, Greg, it just yeah. he actually was sick when we were there, and so we were kind of hiding because <laughs> we didn't want, and we were in a B and B, and we didn't want to go down to breakfast and spread whatever it was he had around to everybody else. So uh, yeah. that was a bit unfortunate, but yeah. So as a result, no, we didn't get to see any of that. But uh, yeah, next next time, because <laughs> I, I think it's pretty pretty wonderful, right? There's lots of. Yeah, Newfoundland has fiddling, not as much as, um, as um, well, P PEI has even more. And, um, Nova Scotia? I think Nova Scotia has quite a bit, doesn't it? Yes, uh, yeah. Cape Breton. Cape, Cape Breton, Breton is, yeah. the, is the center of fiddle. Ah, music. yeah, that's where my, yeah. my sister-in-law is from, is Cape Breton. Ah. Yeah, she's yeah, not a fiddler, but... Stampede. Not looking forward to that. What was that? Uh, Calgary Hello, Stampede. wonderful you. Um, I will pull this up and just ask you. Did like, you get to play, uh, Robin, when you were in normal? I did get to play, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Not as much as I wanted, 
Okay, Mira, um, accept cookies. But um, log some, in. yeah. We had our honeymoon. Uh, in. In. And okay, our honeymoon. So was in I Cape looked Breton. all on what oh, Tina, nice. Tina sent me her calendar. Karen, you're not muted. No, you're okay, right. so we're back. We're back. We are back. To Appalachia. That's mm -hmm. funny. I thought I was front. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do our let's do our announcements. Kyle, what you got? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, we're continuing our coverage of advertising technology and a little season on ad tech. In particular, I talked to a guy about privacy signals. So all those little messages that pop up saying you consent or you don't, what are those doing? Are they being respected? And uh, where's the future of privacy? So that's this week on Data Skeptic. Ooh, that's a big hot topic right there. Indeed. Very much. Um, we have SkepticalCon coming up really soon. I hope everybody here has gotten a ticket there. It's a really reasonably priced. Here's a link to it. I think it's under $30. We have a full weekend of talks. It's all virtual. We're going to have trivia on Saturday night. There's also Skepperdy. And you'll see um, that one of the players on that is Evan Bernstein and also Bill Nye. And oh, that's going to be a oh. lot of fun. So that's um, this uh, Skepperdy is coming up July 16th and 17th. Well, there's actually on the 15th, there's a uh, like a meet and greet and like, you know, a, a, supposed to be a, like a skeptics in the pub. So that's coming up. It's virtual. You'll have access to all the videos for six months. They're not releasing the videos for six until the end of the six months. And they are starting to release the ones from last year. So if you are interested in what it's like, you can go to um, their website. And this is something that my uh, Monterey County Skeptics is actually promoting. Ooh, I have to make a note of things to do. I was supposed to do something. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Um, <laughs> I just remembered. Uh, Should we advertise that on the website, Susan? Well, I guess if you sure. Yeah, if you want to, that'd be great. Yeah, um, I can do that. Janine has something happening in Eugene. Oregon. In August, August 13th and 14th, Ray Hyman Appreciation Event for two days. Saturday, August 13th is all day uh, talks with some really good scientists and authors, Oregon people. Sunday is an open house with Oregon magicians, Jerry Andrews Solutions and Ray Hyman himself. And if you're coming from out of town, um, we're going to meet over at the Agate 18th Street uh, pub to hang out on Friday night. And um, I have a space reserved Saturday uh, for the back patio at Falling Sky Poor House for uh, dinner. So we can hang out mini Saturday night. Oregon oh. style. I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be fun. Well. There's a lot. And, and I am amazed at the people. Um, when you say Ray Hyman, yeah, people, people turn out. Yeah. So it's going to be a big event. 93 years old, you guys. Wow. 94. You need to get your ass over there. All those people said they wish they met Randy at one point. Yeah. And yeah, this they is, didn't. Well, this, this is, is like this is this is another incredible this is it for Ray Hyman. Yeah, I missed out on Randy and George Collin because I was unemployed and couldn't afford to go on a trip. Well, unfortunately, this is Eugene from the other side of the world, but from where you are, um, Adrian, you have anything on the skeptic zone? Um, no, I don't know. Um, I read the newsletter last week. Yeah, I heard that it was very good. <laughs> Various skeptics were interviewed, and uh, I think I'll be doing a lot of, uh, uh, I'll, I'll be on the skeptic zone this, whatever the next one coming out, because he's going to be at my house of course, yeah. tomorrow morning. So uh, anybody who's within the, the vicinity of my house, you're invited over to hang out with us on Saturday. What we're going to do is go meet over at Michael's Mexican <laughs> Cantina in Old Town Salinas at 1.31. That's the time, p.m. We're going to have Mexican food and then we're coming back to my house and we're going to have snacks and we're going to play cards against humanity until everybody's sick and tired of hearing this. Um, 
Deborah, I, um, I know Deborah's going to be there, and hopefully more people will be there, Peggy and others. And um, uh, Ross Blotcher from Ono oh, Ross oh. and Gary will be here as well. Nice. Paula, who plays trivia with us, will also be here. She'll be here tomorrow night. So we're going to have a little tiny mini little scuffing happen and thing at our at my house. So that's on cool. coming up this weekend. And that's all I got. Anybody have anything else I need to announce? Uh, I'm. I actually have a, an interview I'm going to be doing with someone via Zoom uh, next Wednesday. Where is and it? I've, I, I've mentioned this person to like three groups of in uh, of in real life friends, and they didn't know who he was. I'm assuming you guys who know who this is. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Neil deGrasse Tyson? Like what? The name looks familiar. But it was very weird. No, it's like uh, okay. I'm also going to be doing Penn and Teller. You know who they are? Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's like very weird. We we don't walk in the same circles anymore. You're welcome, Rob. Thank I didn't want to. I didn't want to interview him. So so Rob's is all interview. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. So. We haven't talked about it yet, but um, Rob does a much better job than I do. This. Uh, we lost a good one this today. Uh, Paul Sheldon died. Oh yeah, I saw that. And James Kahn died. Yes. Who? James Conn. My father. The, the Godfather. You made me watch the movie. Or or oh, maybe Sheldon. an elf for some other people. It, yeah, his misery. father an elf, right? Yep. Misery. Hey, Paul hey, Sheldon, I just, of misery. I just read something in Facebook, so it's got to be right. It says here, conspiracy theorists think the Large Hadron coll uh, Collider transferred us into a parallel universe yesterday. Yeah, that's not new. Oh, yeah. That's the well, whole is, is, that, is that old I wonder, news? Some days I wonder if we are in a parallel universe. It's it's all news for Rob. And people were it talking about manifesting your energy when it was being activated because yeah. it was going to open up another dimension. Yeah. So, Susan, in, in season three of the Umbrella Chron uh, Academy, the big dumb guy calls it the large heart on collider. <laughs> oh boy, that's really funny. I, all I know is I didn't sign up for this timeline. Oh, Did it yeah. time travel? No time travel. No time no, travel. I'm with that. So the um Oh, I have one more thing, Susan. You might ahead. like this. I just submitted an article to Barry and he's actually sending it to legal. It's the first article I've ever submitted where they want to do that. And uh, this is this is it selling the paranormal a peek inside the Spirit University. So this is a big company in Florida that not only hosts famous mediums and psychics and Reiki practitioners and sells their services there, but they teach people to do it also. And I'm friends with the former office manager who's now a skeptic and gave me the whole scoop on it. So oh, that's, oh, that's Helen. Nice. Wow. Yes, that's that Helen. is Helen, Bob. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. very it never sees the light of day. You wonder, only yeah. hear about it here. Yeah, we will. We know it here. Um, I had a uh, conversation with a woman who tried to get me to explain how Thomas John could possibly know about some of the things she had in a uh, No way he could know. And one of them was that she had had a hernia. And <laughs> And she's like, there's no way he could have known about that. And I went to her Facebook page and within <laughs> about 30 seconds, I had five references where she had mentioned her. Wow. But then again, she kept pushing the goalpost. Oh, well, it was this other thing. And there's no way. But one of the things I noticed when I went to her Facebook page is she was posting about CERN. The, and I thought, <laughs> what? what? Why, are, why is this woman who doesn't seem to have, probably has a clue what that is, Posting about CERN. I thought that was, so now I know why because okay. Yep. So we're ready to start again. Yep. I'm yep. back and I hope you guys are all back. So far, it's been really fun. Robin, you know that you're doing a category now, right? And then you're I, on. I mute. told her I'd step uh, in. Robin, you didn't. Yeah, I, I got a sub. I got I hired a sub. Oh, you got a sub. Okay. <laughs> let me remove your permissions. So Robin has to commit to doing next week, though. I, I will commit. Yeah. Okay. I'm Robin's committed. next week. <laughs> All I need is a bonus next week, you guys. Just saying. Okay, so Peggy's got it tonight. Good it thing. Rolls. We'll see how it rolls. So this is a category three is just a hodgepodge category with what a loose unifying theme. Oh, something I know something about. Yeah, like <laughs> finally, no one will know. finally, random. So thing. anyway, it's a full screen. Um, I just have to go find it. All right, number. Oops. Oh, somebody's walking by in our house. We have to know I dog language. I, I think I know who that is. My dog did is just, now barking just, at your dog. Do we have to translate? translate. Is that the question? Translate. That is not question one. 
The answer George, is, George, I think what translation is, mark for yes. Is that another Arthur. dog? If you were here, George, I would kiss your butt. <laughs> George's cousins in Santa Cruz did not bark at all when somebody came by and stole somebody's car right from out of their front yard. So I'm kind of thinking I don't want him to not bark, but I also don't want him to bark right now. So anyway, hopefully he will settle down. Apologies. Go yell at the people in the front yard. What are you doing walking past my house? I'm trying to do a trivia category. There's yeah. all these people in his in his house all of a sudden. Because you know. yeah. yelling always helps. Yeah. More bitches and horses. Okay, question number one. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. One point for us. <laughs> One point for us. We got it right. We, can <laughs> we got that right. We can hear you. Uh, that's <laughs> not the question. <laughs> that's question number one. Okay. Question can number you one. Hear me? Which is now in the that. chat yeah. is what 1927 Virginia Woolf novel is set on two separate days, ten years apart, and concerns a family staying in a house on the Isle of Skye and their quest to visit a nearby site. Sure. <laughs> number two is this British humor magazine was founded in 1841 and became a staple of British drawing rooms for many years or a party beverage. Number three is about to get copied. If my dog doesn't make another noise. Eight. Here we go. Number three is this singer songwriter had her breakout hit singing Joni Mitchell, a Joni Mitchell song in 1967, and her biggest hit singing a Stephen Sondheim song in 1975. It's question three, right? That was three. Did it not come up? It came up as no, one. one. It says one. Oh, that's weird. Add, it add there, two to though. that. Okay, sorry. I did something fucked. Um, this is question. This four, is question four. four. Um, but why it's coming up as three? I don't. I'm not sure. I must have cut something. Where are you copying them from? I don't understand how the text is changing when you're pasting it. Yeah, I don't either. That's an interesting thing. Aliens. Okay. Okay. So this question for what play is the source of the following quote, quote, be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. And you have choices. She stoops to conquer, Twelfth Night, The School for Wives, or The Rivals. Okay, so this is going to change to five. Copy, paste. Number five is wombats produce poop that is notable for having what shape? Oh, lovely. <laughs> I know. Didn't Karen do this? Did Karen do this? Karen mm -hmm. knows that one. She knows her poop. That's a shitty question. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody watching this right and, now is going. Shouldn't the, shouldn't why, the, why, the, why, the, is, why is Karen immediately get invoked when it comes and, to Wombat? Shouldn't the number for that he question should be number shit. two? Shouldn't that be number two? <laughs> Very good, Rob. <laughs> that should be question two. I will read number all of them and confuse everyone. No. Okay, number six, pretty sure. <laughs> this Scottish TV and movie actor with an Italian sounding surname has appeared in the following film since 2009 In the Loop, Paddington, Suicide oh. Squad, World War Z, The Personal History of David Copperfield. And that is not an exhaustive list. Now we were on, I think I'm on seven. Am I on seven? You're on seven, yes. Over on. Thank you. No more.
Number seven, had Lin-Manuel Miranda won an Oscar this year for best original song, he would also have achieved what further honor? What further? It just, uh, oh, it's honor, H-O-N-O-R. It, it didn't get copied. Nothing for you to install. Oh, wait, this one has to be changed to eight. Cats are begging. He knows I had cheese. Dogs are barking. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not begging. <laughs> oh, he was barking at leaves. There's the wind came up. Nothing. Number eight. In, in 1893, 20,000 people canceled their subscriptions to the Strand magazine in protest of what? Oh, ooh, that's interesting. Is number seven complete? No, no it's just honor. Have, um, honor. Honor is the last word in there. Oh, with, okay. With the you or without. Honor. Got it. <laughs> British first. <laughs> 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 British spelling or the American spelling? Yes. Well, it doesn't matter. I am not going to be picky about that. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's going on with my copying today. I think I have all of this in here. Nope, not yet. I haven't seen these in a while either. Number nine, what visionary chemist, educator, and inventor was born in Siberia on February 8th, 1834? <clears throat> You're going to kill me, Peggy. What? You're going to kill me. I'm going to kill you? Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> it's very hard. It's a, it's a hard section. OK, remember, there's a unifying theme. Oh, is there? There's a loose unifying theme. And when you get the theme, I think you'll get these. Number 10 oh, is. I thought it was random things. This 19. Well, the questions appear to be random until you figure out the theme. Oh. This 1941 film starring Laurence Olivier and Joan Fontaine, based on a Daphne, Daphne du Maurier novel, won Oscars for Best Picture and Best Cinematography. One of my favorite, 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 favorite. I won't say anymore. Sure. So all of these have a common theme. Hmm. They all start with A. <clears throat> And it isn't just that they're misnumbered, all of them, because not, not all of them. <laughs> Some are misnumbered correctly. Number number correctly. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Very good, Peggy. Thank you for sticking in because oh, Robin wait, forgot her turn. The bonus, the, the theme can be the bonus question and can make up for a point that you otherwise don't get. Oh, okay. So could there be a bonus? All right. So bonus is, is the theme. The theme. Okay. Okay. I don't have any power, so I can't. Oh, I must anything. have given them, taken away from you. I think you gave them to Robin. <laughs> I took them away from Robin. Ah, now we don't uh, have any power, Robin. I will put it, I'll put you back. So hang in there, young lady. Don't go anywhere. So Karen <sighs> has to go to her room, which is, oh, shoot, what room are you in, Karen? One. Oh, okay. Karen goes to one. And big up, big up. You're supposed to be in three, right, Peggy? Yeah. Yeah. Can I bounce around now? Make co host. Yes, you can now. Yes, you can. Bob, you're right. No, no, he needs to go into room um, Bob, you're two. There yeah, you room two. Adrian disappeared. Where's Adrian? She's gone. Oh. Tap, tap, tap. I'm tapping, Adrian. Tap, tap, tap. Can you hear me? Oh, she probably went to go take a five minute break. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. Oh, Susan. Yay. Hi, Susan. Well, hi, Susan. Hopefully you can Where's help us Adrian? out. Where's Adrian? Where's Adrian? Where's Adrian? She was, she's on the main screen. I think she just went to the bathroom or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. okay. She's not gone, gone. She's she's there. Okay, good. Okay, so where do you want to start? You already started with one? Let's, yeah, I have no idea. Okay, we're, then, we're, 
Virginia Woolf novel, I don't know. I don't either. I just, I don't, I'm, I'm not familiar with Virginia Woolf. Well, the only Virginia Woolf one I know is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. No, that's, that was that's Tennessee. not, that's, that's uh, Tennessee Williams. Oh, okay, never mind. Do we know why the the story Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf is called Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I don't, I, I don't no. know. But no. that was a scary, that is a scary play to to read. Don't and whose play is that? It's not Virginia Woolf's play. No. Uh -uh. Okay, oh, so number funny. two, the answer is Punch. Yes, I, that one I knew. Figures. We both know the same <laughs> one. Hi, Adrian. Adrian, tell me you, no question. Tell me you're not number one. What 1927 Virginia Woolf novel is set on two separate days, 10 years apart, and concerns a family staying in a house in the no Iowa idea. sky, the quest to visit a nearby site? No idea. Where did Terry go? She's there. She just has her video off. Okay. And she has video problems. Yeah. Okay. This singer. Oh, okay. Number three. The singer songwriter had her breakout hit singing in a Jody Mitchell song in 1967. And her biggest hit singing the Stephen Sondheim song in 75. No idea. There is a theme to these. So hopefully, if we figure out the theme, we can figure out what question one is. Did you get number two? Yeah, it's Punch. Punch. That I knew. Mm -hmm. mm. I knew it too. So singer-songwriters of that era, we have Carol King. Who else do we have? Loretta Lynn. Um, Loretta Lynn would not have sung a Junie Mitchell song or a Stephen Sondheim song. So um, we have Joan Baez. I kind of like the Carol King idea. Joan Baez. I like Carol King because of Sondheim, but, but Carol King mostly wrote songs for other people to sing. So well, that's why she's a singer songwriter, right? Yeah. yeah. What about Karen Carpenter? Oh, I love Karen Carpenter. <laughs> but who sang Joni Mitchell songs? Um, Joan Baez might have. Um, Joan Baez, yeah, that's the only one I. Judy Collins of. might have. Yeah. Joe King might have. Um, oh, let me ask my husband. This, okay, here's the here's the thing, honey. It says this singer songwriter had her breakout hit singing a Joni Mitchell song in 1967, and her biggest hit singing a Stephen Sondheim song in 1975. I'm gonna say uh, Judy Collins. What, 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 um, the circle game. oh, Ooh. my husband thinks it, the, the 1967 is Judy Collins, the circle game. I don't know what Stephen Sondheim song she would have. No idea. But let's, let's pencil her in as a possibility. Okay. Whoever's keeping track, not I. So we, so if, if it's Judy Collins, then the answer to number one would be Judy. <gasps> Punch and Judy. Punch and Judy. This is theme. Yeah, Punch Judy, Virginia Woolf novel. I don't know. Punch, Punch and Judy. Punch and Judy. Ah, well, I think she's being funny, doesn't she? Well, what else? Maybe is it's in lighthouses. Punch no. It's <laughs> but what what else is in Punch and Judy besides Punch and Judy? Oh well, there is a. But maybe it's stick. all the well. There is the Italy. well known. The well-known bad categories are not bad you know the lo low scoring hey categories. hey hey oh. okay, let's, see. let's see we'll see let's just go so let's, let's try to do a couple one, more maybe. okay so i don't know uh be not some great distress upon them okay I don't number know. four this should give it away she's okay what play is a source of the following quote be not afraid of greatness some are born great some achieve greatness and some have greatness thrust upon them i don't recognize any of these places it i must, don't either I don't oh, think it's Twelfth Night. That. I've oh. seen Twelfth Night many times, and I don't think it's Twelfth Night. But yeah, I, I don't think it's Twelfth Night either. But the quote is really familiar. Let's come back to that one. Wombats uh, produce square poop or cubicle pu poop. Cubicle square? Well, cubic. It's a cube. I'd like to say square. I mean, a lot of things. Three-dimensional square. Or square. Well, that's yes, a three-dimensional Okay, yes. this Scottish TV movie actor. Okay, no idea. I've never seen any of these. Neither have I. Adrian, Terry. Nope. Um, I don't. I, don't I know. haven't seen. I'm going to ask my.
my my son might know. Category is not pension duty because I know a couple of the other answers and it, it doesn't fit. My husband was no help. Okay. Okay, so number seven, had Lin-Manuel Miranda won an Oscar for the best original song, he would have achieved what further honor? So it's called, a uh, can't remember what it's called, but if you get an Oscar, a Tony, a Tony and an Emmy, mm -hmm. it's called a something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I had this on the category that I've never given, but I've written the questions for it. It's and I can't it, remember what they call it, but Oscar, Tony, Emmy would be oat. <laughs> no, it's, it's something else has nothing to do with acronyms. It's um, no, I, I know the answer because it's on one of my other screens, but I can't look. Um, the triple crown. <laughs> that's what my husband just said. Like, I was no. like, oh, really? No, yeah, that's, no, I know uh, that's some other it could kind be of... a hat trick. I mean, okay, so number eight, I know everybody, but it's not one. called that, it's called something, right? Number eight. <laughs> Not a freaking clue. It's whenever Sherlock Holmes was killed off. Who? Oh, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes was killed. Oh. Oh, the Grand death magazine. of Sherlock Holmes. Oh, the right and I remember Holmes. that now. Yeah. yeah. I helped. And it's on video. <laughs> I put the death of Sherlock Holmes falls. <laughs> Um, okay. Number 10 is Rebecca, correct? Yes, definitely Rebecca. <laughs> I adore that movie and book. Oh my God. It's definitely such a good book. Point. Oh my God. I just saw a remake of Rebecca and they really? did a really good job of it. Yeah. Really shocked. Very nicely done. Oh, Daphne du Maurier. Yeah. I've read the novel, but I've never seen any of the movies. Oh, you got to watch the Hitchcock version. It's really good. Well, yeah, it won uh, Best Picture. Best cinematography. It's really creepy. Creepy as hell. Oh, and he is so uh, boy, you could just feel his charisma. The the guy who plays um Maxim. You go, yeah. oh my gosh. I can fall for that one too. Okay, so we've got for sure we have Rebecca, the death of Sherlock Holmes, a cube, punch, Judy. The Judy were kind of on. What could those things have in common for a theme? I mean, Punch is a is a British magazine. Sherlock Holmes was published in a British newspaper. Has there has there been a um, Sherlock Holmes category in the past on trivia? I might have done one back at the very 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 beginning. Cube. cube cube poop but poop has could, been done we call it something besides parents. cube so maybe it's square or, or something or else. Poop. it's poop we've had a category of poop yeah we have oh Rebecca, I think that's what they're saying home. hitchcock films we did oh these are all been categories yeah that's the answer what they've all been categories have we have we actually had categories about famous rebecca's is that another one no but we had we had a, a category for a shark uh <laughs> Hitchcock films and oh, one of them. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. This makes sense. So one Those of these the lighthouse. Oh, the lighthouse is the book for the, oh, the, the lighthouse. The lighthouse. I've never read it, but I know Susan, that exists. Susan, you get all the brownie points today. I'm actually pretty good at themes, picking the theme, figuring out the theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't the I, lighthouse. I, I, I really simple oh. Okay, so I, what are some of the other categories? Okay, the singer songwriter had a Joan Baez song, Joni Mitchell song. So Billy, Billy Joel? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a her. It's Judy Collins. That's Judy Collins. That's yeah, we the Judy. Oh, that is because Punch yeah, and Judy. Judy Collins. I think the, I think those do go together as Punch and Judy. And she yeah, did loosely, Judy. right? Oh, and that's why she has the categories right next to each other. Yes. The questions. Okay, so yeah. number four. So my feeling is that it's she stoops to conquer. I was thinking it was the twelfth night because didn't we have a category in Shakespeare, Shakespeare? at one point? I don't know. I don't remember. I was there, but I don't remember. 
We've never had a category for the School of Wives, the rivals, or she stoops to conquer. The the quote, first of all, I've seen Twelfth Night several times. I don't remember that quote, but but it also oh. seems like a more modern quote than the 1500s. Well, especially with the apostrophe E-M. I, I could see that from the 1500s, but yeah, it, mm-hmm. it just does, seems modern. But it, it does, it, as a theme, it makes sense for it to be Shakespeare. Because I've never heard of these other things. The rival, well, it depends on who rivals. wrote She Stoops to Conquer. Who wrote what that? Was, I don't know. The Rivals? Idea. What was that? Or, or The Rivals or The School for Wives. Is that I like a West Side Story something? No idea. Oh, they're all plays, I guess, huh? Yep. Okay. A Scottish TV movie actor. Uh, okay could it be brad pitt or matt damon they're american oh uh, and it has to do something to do with our trivia categories there's not that many scottish actors there's not that many famous scottish actors sean, sean connery yeah sean connery is but <laughs> oh wait what is this number Italian. nine i don't remember ever seeing that question oh, I, I pasted it here what vision no, he's irish educator and inventor was born in siberia february 8th 1934. 1834. 1834. Chemist educated in Siberia. Tolstoy? Tolstoy? No, he wasn't a chemist. Who was the lady? Marie Curie? Could it be Marie Curie? Siberia? Madame Curie? Let's put that because I have a feeling that we've had that in a couple Mm -hmm. categories. Okay, so the theme is past trivia categories. Um, okay, let me think. Let's go back over here. So now that we know that, yeah, I've never seen the light. I read the lighthouse, but that sounds like something you probably should check out. What play is the source? You know the rivals. Sounds familiar, but I know we did a category in Shakespeare. That's why I'm thinking Shakespeare. TV, Scottish TV, and movie actor. I have no idea. It would idea. be somebody named Mick something. McGuin? No, would with a, an Italian Mick? sounding surname. So not oh, Mick Italian. anything else. It wouldn't be an Italian sounding surname. Oh, I don't have my glasses on all the way. I only have one pair of glasses. I only have one pair of glasses on, so I, can, I can't. Everything's a little fuzzy. Okay. Ah. Italian sounding name. What's an Italian sir? Mario Puzo. Tony. Tony. Surname. Surname. Oh, surname. Oh, last name. Okay. We're, we're we got it, Maggie. We got the we got the theme. And are we See, close to being ready? Can I call no. y'all back now? No. I don't know. What is everybody else doing? The theme. The theme is previous categories. Um. Pre- previous. Previous categories. <laughs> is that, but, is that not helpful to you? <laughs> no, it's not helpful at all. No, it's helpful. It gave me the first one. It gave us it gave us a couple, but we still we're stomped stomped on a lot of them. Oh no no we got we got we got we got it we got it hold on got three still to okay the we're Italian missing the Italian. play we're missing the Scottish actor I can't remember what the triple crown of Oscar Tony Emmy is. I can't remember what that's called. Uh, Olivier. An Olivier? No, no, no. I was thinking about the Olivier was oh. no, he's not Scottish. Okay. Um, he's British. He's I just so started French. reading the book. I've reading. never heard of any Scottish actor with an Italian sounding surname. Well, and he's no. a current actor. Olivier's not particularly. Olivier is dead. Yeah, I, pick him. <laughs> I don't know any of these. So if it's a current guy, but it has to do with our categories, you guys. Something we've done in a category. What That's about Jude, to think about Jude it. Law? What about what? Jude, Law? Jude Law? Isn't he no. American? That's I don't know. Doesn't that's not an Italian sounding surname? You'd have to say Law. <laughs> law. Yeah, with <laughs> the hand. Yeah, like Susan said. That's right. Law. Um. Okay, let me think of some categories we've had that Peggy would remember. (laughs) 
Okay, come on, you guys, some standout categories we've had in the past. Let's have some ideas. Lighthouses, Punch and Judy, Poop. I, I did photography. I did math people. I did, what else did I do? Billy Joel is one, that's a name we use all the time. We're always coming up with Billy Joel. I so know. Good. Joel B. Mm -hmm. Hawaii, Indonesia, He's Italian. Kansas. Yeah, yeah we, we did lots of states. What was, the, what was the chemist category? It's a, some chemist. We had the category in chemist. Pie. Oh, God, we had so many categories, you guys. There's no way. We're on game number 114 times five. How many is yeah. that? That's a lot. You can remember 600 cat it's almost 600 categories oh no way is that right is Mano an answer like Mano rules, <laughs> Mano rules. <laughs> visionary chemist named Mano. Yeah. <laughs> okay number six i'm giving up on i have I, no no okay the lynn miranda i wonder if i asked this question before and i thought i hadn't asked this question before and that's why she pulled it up because i did one on oh, gold I, I was going to do one on the golden globes or I was going to do one on. So we should guess number Charlotte. number four. Or is it going to? Are we going to go with Shakespeare then? Twelfth Night, just because. The Rivals sounds so familiar, but it, it was a book. We I did a thing. I did a category on so uh, children's the literature, and I think the answer was the Rivals. So okay, let's do the Rivals. I, I think then. the Rivals. And okay. I didn't know what it was. And you're happier just, with that, Robin, right? I will go with whatever somebody feels confident about because i don't so we just have six and seven then yeah you've, you've seen this 12th night's not in there so maybe the uh is is the triple crown of the awards called the joel <laughs> or the billy <laughs> write the triple crown because but i don't think it's right of oh, the billy in other words, it is economics built around philosophy that explicitly rejects the use of mathematics, statistics, any sort of empirical modeling whatsoever. Are we talking about republicanism? As no, I thought we were talking about cryptocurrency uh, or something. I just Kyle's back. This. Kyle's here now. So what are we talking about? Talk, we're don't talking talk about, about rejecting my, uh, data. What? We're talking about my college degree. Oh, and here I mentioned cryptocurrency. What is your college degree? Economics, though I've ta basically taken to describing it as philosophy these days. Wow. Because that's what it is. Okay. Most of my professors adhered to this highly heterodox economic philosophy and consequently, I think my degree is not even worth the ink it's paint printed on. Huh. So your well, professors were not Keynesian, huh? Well, you could get a certificate in Reiki. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very clever category. Did everybody pick on it? Figure it out? No. Yeah, we got it. Not, that, not everybody. We did. Yeah. That was really I mean, clever. Our team did, but very not, clever, uh, Peggy. As individuals, very I'm not sneaky. sure everybody would have. I didn't. It's sneaky, sneak, snake, snake. Snakes. Weighted heavily for those of us who have played a lot over two year plus years. So those we're new on the third year now. I, I, I got it after the first two answers. Well, Good. I did. We got it after the, number three. I got it. Number question three. two, two, three, and one. And right ten. Yeah. That order. Two, three, one. I well, thought one, the first one, one would give it away. The uh, category we, gave me it? one. Let's, well, let's yeah, hear if you knew one, yeah. if you, knew one you got it. You got it. I okay, had to the so category to get one. The answer is ready. Everyone ready? Oh. Number one is uh, To the Lighthouse is the title of the novel. Oh, no. Number two can is we get, Can we get half a point if we got the lighthouse? <laughs> um, I, I, yeah. Uh, different movie no because well, we got to the lighthouse did, did others I, get the actual right answer to the, the lighthouse, lighthouse. Yeah. The lighthouse. Yes, yes but i still think lighthouse is sufficient 
says Janine. I, I think if anybody got the right answer, and it's the the question was the title of the book, that you have to get the title of the book. We only got the lighthouse. The, yeah. Well, did anybody get to the lighthouse? Yes. 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 I heard two people say that. To the lighthouse. Okay. Number two is Punch. Thank number you, three is Judy Collins. Oh, yes. we got that one right. Yay. Okay. Now we know what those relate Corey to. Got to prior yep. categories that were used in in trivia number four is 12th night and oh no there, there was a there was a shakespeare quote category i think that Ma, mono did if i recall correctly and i don't think i was there that night so um oops where are y'all number five is square poops and Karen did a whole oh, scat it can't be, it can't be square. It can't square be square. They'd be very cubes. flat. They're cubes. Cube. Cubes. cubes. According to Karen, and she knows it all, all right. she said it was square. Poop okay, to the third square power. Square or cubed? I'll take cubed. Cubed. cubed or squared. Cube pooped. Cubey poopy. Square is two dimensional. You have to live in flat square. land. Like square. I'll take square. Yeah. Come on. So, these are flat land wombats. If you're drawing a picture of the poop, it's two dimensional. Not really. You can make a nice three-dimensional cube easily. Number six, Peter Capaldi. <laughs> oh, yes. Peter, Peter Capaldi, Capaldi was one of the Doctor Who's. Doctor and that was a category. On oh, we had that. Doctor. Oh, man, no wonder I didn't know the answer. Thank you. How do you spell the last name? Peter what? C-A-P-A-L-D-I. And I'll put him in the chat, too. Yep. There he is. Uh, Thank you, Carol. That was so clever that they made him an H W H O doctor. That was before he got... <laughs> role in Doctor Who. Oh, uh, so then it's a bizarre coincidence yes. of the universe. Oh, wow. Answers. Number seven is EGOT, E-G-O-T winner, an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. He did not win that, unfortunately, so he's not an EGOT winner. He'll get it. But um, Jennifer Hudson ended up getting it like a month or so ago when she won a Tony, I guess. I think that came up in another category. That's why we're talking about this. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks yeah. for keeping it up. Thanks for keeping it up. Yeah. Eight was the death of Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes oh. was a category. Oh. Oh. That's why I knew <laughs> Strand Negacy. Okay. Supposed death of Sherlock. Yay, Gail. Temporary death. Well, <laughs> they didn't know that at the be, time. It was intended to hmm. be. Real. That's amazing that they they cancel culture. They cancel, get it? They that was early cancel culture. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me it's new. It's not new. That number uh, nine is Mendeleev, um, Dmitry Mendeleev, who and there was a category about the the periodic table. How do you so spell the last name? M E N D E L E E V. I'll put him in the chat in just a second. And number ten is Rebecca, and there was a whole Hitchcock category. Oh my oh, God, yeah. that is such an amazing category, uh, movie. Everybody's gonna watch it, Rebecca. We talked. I, I read it when I was about 14. I, I, was I already told them how it ended. Oh, the movie, <laughs> the movie and the book, both are wonderful. Peggy, no, really that. good category. And, and the theme, you said there's actually a point for the theme. The theme is prior trivia categories. Mm -hmm. Oh, Very no. And you can have a point for that if you need the point. You mm -hmm. 10 maximum, but if you need it, you can have it. Very clever. These must have been all prior to when I started. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you had a team that had been here a long time. Um, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the prior category regarding the square poops? Karen yeah, had a whole scat Aaron. category. Cube. Oh, Cube poop. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, Ron, you're on the team with Deborah, and she's been here from the beginning. Yeah, it didn't occur to me. And Nate we didn't, we didn't Romero have been theme. here for a long time. We didn't get the theme. Yeah, we Jamie has been here for Rob, almost over a year. Categories? I didn't you have any well. categories. We Ron, talked they, about, Ron, we they, talked they, about they, lighthouses and Punch and Judy all the time. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying my categories, I never, none of them appeared here. Well, we were trying to fit Billy Joel in. Was it it wasn't personal. It was no, no, just... no. I wasn't saying that. I'm just wondering if anybody Ron, else did. Like Ron, Ron did a lot of categories. Yeah, none, none of them. mine. None were mine. Really. No, Ron. Some of these guys have been here so long; they're already so senile they can't remember anything. That's it. Yeah, but I had a lobotomy last week, so I can't <laughs> yeah, remember. Yeah, the stars. Comedy with Dimitri Martin was a category. 
was Did a I tell you I've been struck by lightning? <laughs> no, no, our, our brains are so fried from playing. Tell us about world, that, Susan. Can't remember. Forest, please. <laughs> so, Peggy, forest. how did you pick the categories? Are just like things that came to you? Exactly. Random as heck. That's mm -hmm. clever. She had to use Punch and Judy, though. And Lighthouses. Forest, lighthouses. Well, I had yeah. to use Lighthouses, Punch and Judy, so that, so that it would be the actual connection to any of them. And then it was just whatever. I, was I went through your list. Uh, which one was Wordle? <laughs> it's not existing because it's not a thing it's a cult <laughs> i actually wrote this category Ooh, long before I yeah, long before yeah. that cult thing okay Sorry. very good let's go with the scores okay here we go just for convenience i want adrian to put a link to the latest world game on uh, it's about time <laughs> that would be great <laughs> on a website It'll say, I might get fired. It's called <laughs> Cults, C U L T S. Shut up, Susan. We can't help it. You're not smart enough to figure it out. Ooh, Ooh. 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 Hey, I know where you live. Today is I know where you oh, live, young lady. Yeah, I can scores. find out where you live. Well, scores. Oh, scores all right. Getting late. So. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Susan so, is a five letter word. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers won't help our score either. Did Eight. Help Eight. That's good. Oh, yeah, we did fairly well on that. Stop Yay, up. team! Is Britain with, with the bonus? With the bonus? Oh, your 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 thing is not updating. <laughs> oh, come on now. We got eight as well. If you type eight, we don't see it. <sighs> I just, just refresh it at the end. I just refreshed it right now. Nope, no, you doesn't, didn't. that doesn't work. No, thank you. See the, can you see me scrolling? Okay, let me unshare and no. then try resharing. You optimize for video when you share. Very weird. It is so weird. Mm. Okay, now like I'm gonna... we see the cursor moving. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it gives me two choice choices. It says on my, you know, it gives you what is it you want to come up with? Right. Select a window or an application. So if I select, I'll select this one. It's different than I just did a minute ago. Let's see. Okay, you can see my mouse, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. number Britain cuts off. Oh, I can't read it. We got yeah. eight. Share it all. Okay, does that share? Can you see it? Yeah, that works. That works. Our that Jonathan works. is growing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about when the herd moves, it moves? We got 10. It's Ooh. regenerating. <laughs> wow. The British Amazons. Six. Oh, I thought we did better than that. Really, team? I'm sorry. Okay, we plead the fifth. Ten. Ah. Everybody hates them. Okay, here we are. 8.4, look at that. Good job, Peggy. Thank you for coming at the very last minute there. Mm -hmm. Woo our team got Thanks the for last. Thanks up with it. Our team got the lowest score. Woo. Yay, Peggy, good category. <laughs> Playing golf rules, Vincent. Yes. What? <laughs> okay, so here we are. And are you ready? You're, well, you're I'm a lot of I gotta give you the um hours. We still need I, a bonus for next week. I'm gonna be bidding you adieu at this point. It's uh, uh, I have to get up for work in a couple hours. Don't so. call us adieu. <laughs> Bye, Ron. Bye, Ron. Bye, Ron. Bye, Ron. Next yeah. category. See you in a week. Identify the celebrity on top of the theme. Oh, I, ha I have a bonus in my back pocket, so I could do two categories next week if you want. I could no. do the bonus. Do you want bonus or do you want category next week? I'll give you a category. Okay, so. It's more fun. I'll put you down for bonus for another week. We've determined you can't do more than one unless you do them all, because then it then it puts yeah. the onus on one team. Like Susan will be on the same team twice. And, and that's we definitely do not, not want fair. that. That's just not fair. <laughs> we do not that's want definitely that not ever. Fair. Hey, Susan, I said I would do a category. I'll do a bonus instead then. Okay. Gail's, now, right? got, Gail's got bonus next week. We still have a category open next week. Okay. So we are at Peggy, Kevin. Kevin, I, did I just give you your powers? Yeah, I did. I don't know, but I'm ready. Okay, go for it. Identify the celebrity, uncover the theme. Number one, she played Olivia Walton and nurse Mary Benjamin. Number two, with over 70 credits on screens, large and small, she is still best known as the mermaid in 1984's Splash. 
number three. Cutting and pasting two at a time. Leading lady of 80s films, including Blade Runner, Wall Street, No Way Out, lost her starting role in 1989's Batman because of an injury while riding a horse. Her career, and some say her sanity, never fully recovered. Number four, star of Fatal Attraction, Dangerous Liaisons, and 101 Dalmatians. She played a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Number five, she played Mary in Something About Mary. Number six, he played Archie Bunker. Number seven, Hall of Fame baseball player who pitched for both Dodgers in Brooklyn and in Los Angeles. Number eight, who played the part of Mr. Alga on Cable 10 from Aurora, Illinois. No S. Illinois. Illinois annoys him. It's better than Washington. Hi, I'll take a vote on that. <laughs> well, we could we say that last one again. Who played the part of Mr. Alga on Cable 10 from Aurora, Illinois? Number nine, activist and outspoken radical who was arrested during the 1968 Democratic Convention as one of the Chicago Seven. Number 10, tough guy movie star, mostly remembered for his short-lived 1980s TV series, Mike Hammer. Although his best work is arguably John Huston's 1972 film, Fat City. There is a bonus. It's not identify the theme, but you'll need to identify the theme to get the bonus. The bonus is what two members of Fleetwood Mac fit the theme? Hint, pick two from these. So those are all the members of Fleetwood Mac. Pick two of them. You gotta get the right two that will fit the theme. Jesus. If you get the theme, you'll get the bonus. I, I didn't see Jesus. Me. I didn't see Jesus in the list. Jesus, so, did you pick go it to your rooms. Good job. Send us away. Oh. I'm not. You're not in your thing. I didn't get a thing. No, nobody's got a thing. Who's sending us? Peggy. I'm, I'm I'm doing okay, oh. there you go. Why is a car with a K is an enemy channel? I'm confused. Hi, team. I'm here to help. Kevin would do really good on this one. You know, Kevin would be great on this. <sighs> okay, so. Okay. I know. Uh, number three is Sean Young. The only other option is Daryl Hannah. But I feel like it has to be Sean Young. Number seven could be either Sandy Koufax or Don Drysdale. We will probably figure it out once we figure out the theme. Can, no, it can't be Don Sutton. Um, he played Archie Bunker is um, uh, O'Connell. What's his name? Sean Connery? No, no, uh, something O'Connell. Um, Very famous. God, you guys. Sorry, I never saw it. 
He's a very famous actor now, um, died not so long ago. Anyway, O'Connell, I'm pretty sure is his last name, but it'll come to me in a minute, okay. So who did, what did you say so far, Caspian? He played Olivia, do we know, which ones do we know? Cause we gotta come up with a theme. Number three, I'm pretty sure is Sean Young. Number seven is either Sandy Koufax or Don Drysdale. There is no way based on that clue to tell which one. Uh, number nine, oh, number nine. Um, yeah, I was thinking that's the closest I'd come to knowing any of them. Number, could that be but, Abby Hoffman? Could be. Could be. Carol O'Connor. That's okay. it, Carol. And it's a male, Carol. So we have a Sean Young, a Carol O'Connor, and Abby Hoffman, I guess, and a either a Sandy Koufax or Don, Don Drysdale. Okay, so let me see here. Okay, so I think the answer for number for the bonus is Stevie Nicks and probably Lindsay Buckingham. Why do you think that? Because I think I know the theme. What's the theme? All the people have first names that could go male or female. Sean, Carol, Sandy, Abby. I'm good at the picking out the theme, but <laughs> I'm no good at the of the answers. So you're thinking, what was it? Stevie and Lindsay? Stevie and Lindsay. Okay. I'm waiting to see if I can see Kevin's face go. We're trying to keep him smiling. Oh, tough guy movie star. From the 70s and 80s, who had an ambiguous name? Um, a Mr. Algar. So Sandy Colfax or Sandy Colfax is the answer. Sandy Colfax. Well, whatever. It's Sandy's right name. How do you spell it? S A N D Y? Yep. How do you spell Colfax? K-O-U-F-A-X. Okay, there you go. See, it hits the theme. Who played the part of Mr. Agar? I don't know any of these people. Um, Hundred Wind Dalmatians. It's Fatal Attraction. Wasn't that... Um, Glenn Close? Glenn Close. There you go. There, it fits the theme. Very good. Great, great, great. Glenn with two ends, I think. Could number five be Drew Barrymore? Very likely, that fits the theme. That's, that's what I'm going off of. Okay. Drew who? Barrymore. She's the one I think that was in the- She was a- Poltergeist or something? The little girl said, they're coming. No, nah, she was in um, E.T. The little girl in Poltergeist died. Oh. They came and got her. Poltergeist is uh, considered one of the uh, cursed films, so to speak. Oh. The With films where they there. had an, an, a seemingly Oh, Daryl Hannah. Daryl Hannah. Seven, number two. Are you sh Number two is Daryl Hannah? Because she was also in Blade Runner. He probably thought we would have figured that out. That would have been too easy. But Daryl fits the theme. Yeah, it does. Olivia Walton and Nurse Mary Benjamin. The trash. Would you like to go for a walk? Look at this tail. <laughs> when I said walk, his, his tail started really moving. 
We just heard outside barking, and and so I was trying to figure out. But th actually, I think the door is still open. John, oh. can you close the door? Okay, leaving. Oh, number one, she played Olivia Walton and Nurse Mary Benjamin. Mm. Oh, yeah. Tough guy movie stars mostly remembered for the short lived 1980s TV series Mike Cut My Groove. That's right. Apparently, the little girl from Poltergeist was 12 when she had two heart attacks. Ooh. God. Okay, let's see. Um, so, Sue? No. Most remember the short lived 1980s TV series. Okay, so let me think of some names that could be Taylor, Tyler, Sue. Oh, um, tough guy from the 80s. Um, not Clint Eastwood. Why did you choose Stevie Nicks as, as the theme? Because Stevie is a woman. But can oh, okay. be a man's name. But Stevie is a male. Okay, got name. it. Okay. Um, you think that there's anything else? Bob, no. Christine, no. Danny, no. Jeremy, no. John. Lindsay. You, you, do you think it's Lindsay, not Mick? Because Lindsay could go kind of male or female, right? We're supposed to choose two. We chose Lindsay and Stevie, Stevie Nick. So because the other don't fit, that. right? Mick doesn't fit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we need one, eight, and ten. And something Susan and Caspian, because it's not going to be me. Well, think of names. Think of them. Um, think of a. Okay, don't come up with it. Come up with a name. So what would be a famous, a name that's notoriously female? but could be used as a man's name or the other way around. Avery. Avery. My son's name. Okay. My son's name. So, that see, so see if you can think of a few more. So maybe that'll make us think of an actor or actress. So, Carol. We did Carol. Carol. We already got Carol. We already did Carol. Um, that must have been really hard for um, Kevin, whenever I got O'Connell right off the bat and I was trying to think of his first name and I could not think of his first name because that gives away the whole theme. And he's probably just sitting there just like boiling trying to see because <laughs> I have to come up with the first name otherwise it doesn't help us with the theme. Uh, okay, another. Gail. Yale. Gail? Gail. Could there be a? I'm just. I'm no, just. No, no, that's fine. Give us names. Okay. Can out you give me an actor to... that's a man that's named Gail? Because I have nothing else. Okay, I don't think of an actor named Gail. Um. Is there a famous Johnny female, an actress named Johnny, or an actress named Tom or Tommy or Thomas? Or a famous John that's a female actress. Michael. Oh, there's a Michael. There's a female actress named Michael. I don't know her last name, but I know there's Michael. Does that ring a bell to you guys? An actress no. named Michael something? She was on a game show or something I saw once. She, or maybe she was like on Colbert or some, they were interviewing her. Mm. You know, that actually does sound familiar, but. Is there a famous actress whose first name is Mark or Rob? Um, John, John, 
Chani, Chani. Jerry's another name that's often. Yeah, Jerry. Uh, what was that uh, who married um, Jerry? Isn't there an actress, Jerry, who married um, one of the Rolling Stones guys? Jerry Hannah, or what was her name? Seems like I know there's an actress named Jerry something. Jerry. So I'm, I'm no help in this, Janine. I don't know any of these people, but the name might ring a bell. George. Lauren. Lauren Bacall. Isn't that a famous actress? That is. Okay, could number one be Lauren Bacall or number... Oh, we're only looking for one female, right? No. So Lauren, Lauren Bacall... We need one, eight, and ten. But eight is a male and 10 is a bit male. So let's put Lauren Bacall for number one. Because, okay, now we need two men who have female names. So female names, Jenny. Or just gen gender neutral names. Yeah, Johnny. No, that wouldn't be that wouldn't fit. Um, Janine. Do we know any actors named Janine or actors named Sue? I know there's no Susans. No actors. No actors named Susan. A male actor named. Betty. Jean. Um, Jean. Jean's good. Do you th can you think of a male actor named Jean? I don't know any male actors. Oh, give up with Jean. That, that's I I can think up some names. How about Joan. So Joan. Mar Mary. Marilyn. Mary. Jill. These are more gen gender neutral names. Jill, Jill, Jill. Jane. Jane. Jamie, this one. Jamie's a good Gender one. Gender neutral. Jamie. I think of an actor named Jamie. I'm looking at pictures on my wall to see, see if I can see people's names. <laughs> That's cheating. No, it's not cheating. I'm just trying to come up with names. Like, I'm looking, okay, I need to look at women. Barbara. Vivian. No, oh, that's that is a woman's name. Vivian Nance is a real person. Have you guys got 10 answers? We've got we're missing two. We've got we're eight. And a couple we're working on guess. two more. People are struggling with number one. Number yep. eight. one. I think we got one. Yep. And number 10, one, eight, and 10. Yep, those right. are the ones we're struggling with. 10 exactly. and eight also, we're trying to- Somebody got number eight like that. Really? I've never well, heard of this. Sometimes you know it. And I did a similar question only like three or four weeks ago oh. about Aurora, Illinois, about Cable 10 from Aurora, Illinois. I've never heard of that before. Yes, you did, Other but you don't I. remember it. 
How about Perry? No. Jen. Sandy. Oh, where you got Sandy, right? I did a, a question about three weeks ago. Who played Mr. Campbell on Cable 10 from Aurora, Illinois? Are you trying to that, give us a hint? No, I just, I guess no. I am, but that was a question I did a few weeks ago. Who played Mr. Campbell on o Cable 10 from Aurora, Illinois? So it's the no same idea. question. I know, but, but it was I don't a different, know. his different partner. Kathy, Karen, is there a Karen? No, I can't give you any more hints, but I just, if you, if you well, know. Well, we're just naming female you know names what cable, that could be a. You know what Cable 10 from Aurora, Illinois is? No. I have okay, no then idea. you won't get the answer. Right, I have no I idea. Caspian might have known that one. What we're doing is we're trying to think of female names that could be a man, an actor, have that female name. That's how, we're we're going about it the opposite way because we don't know. I, that's how we got number one. Um, well, what, I'll just say that's excellent. Joan, everybody set the theme though, right? I think so. Well, I don't feel special anymore because I got it. Um, but you have a hat. Nobody else has a hat. <laughs> it's party time. <laughs> but the 4th of July is over. And now it's always going to have this connotation of this parade that really, oh. But the hat, it's Pretty party sure time. There other disasters that have happened on 4th of July, so. But this one was just so awful. No. The yeah. little, little toddler that went to the parade with his parents and now his parents are dead. Oh my God, and that 85 year old man sitting in a wheelchair had no, no, no chance whatsoever. He couldn't have gotten out or anything moved. I just get my heart breaks. It just breaks. Um, Agatha, Ag, Ab, where to get Abby? Um, Karen, Karen, Karen. Are we all done? Should we go back? I think it's time. So pull us back. Leave the Karen wants to be admitted. She's she's missing. Karen goes to one. Sarah. It's going to be one of these names I've mentioned, huh? And we're going to be like, ah! Kim? What is Chris? it? Chris? Oh, Kim. Kim or Chris? Is there a Kim? Chris. Chris? There should be a lot of Chris's. Mm. We're looking for eight or ten. I gave you hints, but you didn't really catch them. No. It's party time. It's excellent. Party time. It's not amazing. It's not Jamie? amazing. Expect more of that. Expect Jamie, did you Let's get see. the theme? Let's see. Yeah, we, yeah, we got, got the theme. It's party time. I figured yeah. you would. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about when that was Hint. personal. Hint. It's party time. <laughs> it's excellent. It's party time. It's excellent. Wayne's world. Wayne's world. Showing <laughs> or the church lady. That's the biggest hint. Okay, here's the answer. Isn't that special? She played Olivia Newt Walton on and Nurse Barry Benjamin is Michael Learned. Yay. Nice. Yeah, there was a Michael in there somewhere. We said, we said somebody else. Learned. Number Michael two what? is Daryl mm. Hannah. Number three is Sean Young. Number four, Glenn Close. Yay. Number five, Cameron Diaz. Oh. The first five are all females with male names. The yay, second yay. five are all males with female names. So.
Number six, the answer is Carol O'Connor. Number seven, Sandy Koufax. All right. Hey. Number All right. eight, job, Wayne's World. He played Garth Algar, played by Dana Harvey. Yay. Number oh, nine is number Abby nine. Hoffman. Cut that. Num number 10 is Stacy Keach. Ah. Oh. Yes. And the bonus, male Lindsay Buckingham and female Stevie Nicks. We got it. We got <clears throat> 10. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have gotten any of these. Anybody not get 10? Yes. We did we got well, a few things done. Was on. Come on. Hey. Can I have my team members stand up for me a little bit and say that say something nice about how I got you the didn't get the category right away, Susan? Susan got, got some. Questions. Thank you very much. Too. And she got the category. Caspian, can you say something nice about your mom? Not in public. Very lovely hat. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely hat. <laughs> And it's not also, on a cat. She paid for my philosophy degree, <laughs> well, which is which is, as you said, worthless. We're pretty much unlikely. I didn't completely. Few, well, few people. Well, I mean, I'll say something. Few people can carry off. Philosopher. There you go. Very few people can carry off the two pair of glasses thing. <laughs> and I'm not one of them. Oh no no! I'm, my dad I'm totally, buy, that. totally buying it. <laughs> Wait, Susan has two pairs of glasses. I have to. Pay. Oh, yes, I'm seeing yep. a larger screen now. I see that. Oh, I thought she had on something for appraising watches and stuff. <laughs> She's pretty amazed, Kevin. I cannot Why did you have two pairs of glasses on? Is it because of the lightning strike, Susan? <laughs> did it do something to you? How'd you know about the lightning strike? <laughs> Twice. Let's have some scores. Oh, my God. I was pretty have a couple of tens, I think. I actually got the theme. Right. It, it must have drove you absolutely nuts, Kevin, because you were in my room whenever I said O'Connor for um, yeah. Archie Bunker. And I was like, O'Connor, O'Connor. You, you were saying not O'Connor. You were saying something else. It, was o, it wasn't Connor. It was O'Cory or something like that. O uh, well, anyway, I just was. Yeah, and the whole thing is that I have to know his first name. And I was like, What's his first name? I can't think of it. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, we'll just go with his last name. That's all we need. And then here it was. That was the important thing. All of a sudden, it just came up out of the blue. Some people wrestled with Carol. Andy Kopax and Don Drysdale. Well, saying yeah, Don is D-A-W-N, yeah. isn't it? Oh, <laughs> uh, so Caspian Drysdale. came up with those two. So uh -huh. clever, clever. Yeah, I had all Drysdale right. until we got to, into a category. So let's go with, can you guys see this? Can you see that my mouse is moving in the little blue square? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thoughts Maybe. and prayers won't help our score either. And woo. And they are in the win. Okay, well. we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done for the night. The British Amazons. Ten. Gosh, how do you guys get all those? Okay, it's Britain cuts off its Johnson. Nine. That's not bad. That's very good. When the herd moves, it moves. Seven. Kevin. Oh, 30, 30, 30. It's your own team, Kevin. Yeah. You plead the fifth. Ten. So I want you guys to all understand that it isn't me being on the team that lowers the score. It's the fact that the person who ran the category is who knows it the best is expert, not on the team. <laughs> just just making sure you guys are aware that it's not me tanking the scores. Susan, you did quite well though because you identified the theme before anybody else on your team. Yeah, but everybody else got the theme. But too, how so many people actually great. knew number number one? Number one, I think, was the toughest one. We thought it was Lauren Bacall because Lauren mm. is a name that could be male or female. We were going back trying to find names. I knew there was a Michael, but we nobody in our team knew any. Jackie. Jackie, yeah, Jackie would have been. <laughs> I'm still thinking of names. But we oh, were yes, coming yeah. up with names Dave, that could go either way. I'm hoping for a John Holiday Wayne question. Taylor. Why didn't you do Billie Holiday in Taylor Swift category? 
we were doing we were trying to fit michael but none of us knew an, uh, an actor a female actor named michael but we know we'd heard of one i know there are we'd appreciate questions from our generation just throw us about, the bone. about cameron five diaz. generation we'll do it on the rolling diaz. stones that's great they thanks dana Covey, cameron diaz this in in that was the who oh We're in, in about trouble. twenty, in about twenty-five years, you'll you'll get them. <laughs> so, Jamie, you got the bonus, right? Yes, I'm all set. Are we ready hey. to go? So we are at twenty-eight, thirty, 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 and thirty-six. My measurements. One's my right leg. <laughs> one's my thigh. <laughs> Some of those are my thighs. <laughs> I won't tell you which one. Oh, okay. We're, we're ready for the bonus. Yeah. yeah. I was very nostalgic when, um, when I thought of the category. Okay. The original TV game show, The Hollywood Squares, it aired from 1966 to 1980. And it was hosted by Peter Marshall. Um, I personally attended the filming of the show at the NBC studios in Burbank in the 70s. Name 10 of the 47 famous stars who participated regularly in at least 50 episodes of the show. Oh my gosh, and Faith just said, please do one for our generation. Yeah. <laughs> Does it include people in the current century that have been on the show? Because I do know some of them. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. 1966 <laughs> to 1980. Yeah, some of them have six days right? from school. We didn't just watch Price is Right. Um, some we, had, we, we, had, uh, we had three yeah, three people on our team who are from the other century. One of them left early, and Jamie's the other one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, it's me. Oh yeah. no! You well, get we got me. you now, so that's oh, good. Oh, thanks. Great, great, great category. Confidence. Great category, Jamie. <laughs> and thanks. To answer, to answer your question, Susan, it's it's the very last part of the. Sentence. Oh, okay. I see it now. At least fifty it's episodes. Now, I had to paste it in to be able to see yeah. the answer. Thank you very much. I got it now. All right, you have it. Me. Oh, Lord, Hollywood Squares. Okay, Sinistar Rooms. I don't, oh, I used to watch it, but God, it's been ages. <laughs> God, me too. Okay. Hollywood Squares. Oh, we're so done. <laughs> I think I would do better if it was a match game. Bobcat Goldway. Oh, yeah. Bruce Willis and Goldberg are the two that come off the top of my head. Karen needs to be assigned to her room. Okay, <laughs> Hollywood Squares, Hollywood Squares. Paul Lind is the only one I can remember off the Paul Lind? Head. Yeah. Okay, we got four. Oh, well, who did you have? have? Who did you have? Bobby Goldberg, Bruce Valanche, and Bobcat Goldweight. Or Goldweight. I have no idea who any of those are except Wolfie. Bobcat, um, Oh, that's not Bobcat. Who's the other one? Who did the voice of Iago the parrot? That always talks in the annoying voice like that. Uh, Gilbert Godfrey? Gilbert Godfrey, that's who it is. Oh, yeah. no, that's right? Yep, Gilbert Godfrey was on there. I think these are older. These are Hollywood's mm -hmm. very older, isn't it? Yeah, but there was... Yeah, remember, remember that this is... Um, Hollywood Squares, they had multiple um, versions. This is the first... This is the original. Oh, just the original? Okay. Just the original, 1966 to 1980. Okay. Never mind then. We'll take off the three of mine. We only have one. Oh, Thank you for clarifying. You might need to keep them on because we may not know. Um, there won't be on there because if, if this is the original run, it's not going to be on there. It's going to be the old ones. It's going to be the old ones. What about like Joan Collins? Maybe. Yeah. Um, what's the face? Uh, Carol Channing? Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's a good one. one. That's what I was trying to think of. I kept thinking it was Phyllis Diller, but I don't think she was on there. It was Carol Channing. I think Diller might have Phyllis been Phyllis Diller, there. too, probably. Maybe. Let's put that. She did like to put herself out there wherever she could be. Um, Who was the other one that 
isn't um, Joan Rivers? Was she on there? She's the type. Hmm. We can put her on the list. What would we replace that Joan Collins with Joan Rivers? Um, I don't know. I mean, they could have both done it. Who are some other guys that were on there? Um, this is before my time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I did not exist at this point. My okay. parents didn't even know each other. Good thing we're not doing minor rules. Um, no, seriously. No, no minor rules. Um, See, I'm thinking of match game. I think and password match game and was when I was on a lot. I think a lot of the stars of all those shows all mixed around and all of them. Yeah, they all did a lot of different stuff. They all did a lot. David Hasselhoff? Um, I don't think he was old enough. Could be wrong, but. Who does the Knight Rider do? That's David Hasselhoff with the car. How about Carol O'Connor? <laughs> I don't think he was on there. <laughs> um, he was no. busy. Um, I always thought Abby Hoffman was a, was a woman. <laughs> nope. I don't know my history, obviously. What men would have been on there? Yeah. Um, O.J. Simpson? No. <laughs> How about Waldo? <laughs> Chevy Chase, maybe? Hmm. He might have. I don't remember him on there, but that's possible. What about, who's the other fat dude? The fat dude. Planes, trains, and automobiles. John Candy. No, he wouldn't have been old enough. Steve um, Martin. Who? Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. Maybe. Oh, he would have. He would. He would have been too much. Think Remember, so? this is sixty-six through eighty. So some of these people could have been on SNL and done this. Yeah, that's um, true. It's true. Um, okay, let me think. We've only got four. Who had, how about O'Reilly or what was that guy's name that always had a cigarette and his name was, wasn't it something O'Reilly? He was really, he was married to another famous actress and he had glasses and something O'Reilly. What was his name? It glasses. He always had a cigarette and. Glasses and a cigarette, huh? I remember a guy with glasses of booze and maybe a cigarette, but that he didn't that go could on. Be it too. Oh, yeah. no, I was no, I was thinking of Dean Martin. His oh, that's right, Jamie. Him. You can't move. I forgot. I, I'm supposed to fling oh. these places. I'm enjoying myself. I'm just listening. I know, but let me fling you. Dean. <laughs> Why don't I listen to this later? Dean Martin. Okay, so yeah, somebody somebody needs needs a, Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Dean, Dean, Dean Martin wasn't on there. Remind me to fling <laughs> Martin. Machine. Mm, uh, Probably too young, but maybe. Um, hmm. How about Sammy Davis Jr.? Hmm, maybe. Okay, I'm putting it down. Yeah, he, it was kind of that era. But that would make sense. There, there are a lot of them were like C lists or B, people who were kind of fading in their celebrity. Yeah, some of them were just like you know comics that did either stand up i think or variety shows George Carlin? no he would have been way too edgy for them i think um, yeah <laughs> do, you, do you remember who i'm talking about the o'reilly person he was no. a, um i i never knew what he was in but he was like an old time actor so when he was on the show i think he was probably in his 70s Somebody You're thinking of Peter O'Toole. No. <laughs> you could put O'Reilly because it is the last name that could be. Got to come up with at least four more. God, we got some creative categories. I tell you guys, the things people yeah. come up with are just amazing, the stuff. 
Um, yeah, I can't, I, you know. Jonathan Winters? No, he would have been away too. He would have taken over the show too. It's hard. You had to get somebody who works well with other people. Well, you know, it's funny because in that, in the show, the, everybody had their little moment of just on them, you know, because well, would... it was all, I'm sure it was, um, it was scripted, scripted to some extent. They had somebody right. Nobody's going to go on that show and look bad. <laughs> no, that's right. So they had a one liner of some sort all planned. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was kind of the original wait, wait, don't tell me actually. In a lot of ways, yeah, it was. I thought it was really actually pretty good. We need four more. Uh, we, did we put Joan Rivers? Yes, we did. Oh, hold on, no, we didn't. I'll put Joan How about Whoopi Goldberg? She was later. Hmm. But I could see her on that show. She was on it later. Hmm. Um, Tina Turner, Drew Barrymore, Tina Turner. Drew Barrymore would have been too young. Yeah. Remember, eight sixty six through eighty. Maybe no. Lucy Arnaz. Maybe her dad was on it. <laughs> Lucy would have been too famous, I think. Right or no? Yeah, yeah. Or how about Desi? Oh. No, they all had their own shows then. You would have seen son, How about the son? He would have been too young. Yeah. And you would have seen it in the movie that they did on Amazon about them that they were on the show. Or did you watch that? No. Oh, it was interesting. It Julia was just Child. it was only about a week, a week of their uh, life. Let's see. I don't know about Joan Rivers because she was. I'm not, I don't know about a lot of these. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> and we did have phyllis diller we mentioned phyllis diller carol channing oh how about carol um uh, burnett? carol burnett no nah, she or uh vicky lawrence okay or uh tim conway or one of the smothers brothers tim tommy smothers they were all about oh. that time Tommy yeah. Smothers. Tommy Smothers or his brother, what was his brother's name? Dickie. Dickie <laughs> Smothers. Um, I've got to go back and watch those again. I hear th those must be really fun. Okay. Really fun. Oh, who was the other people that appeared with Carol Burnett all the time? Um, Tim Conway and the big guy who's constantly mm -hmm. being made. He he'd play the straight man all the time. And they would, they would, oh God, Tim Conway would get him laughing so much. Um, do we know who O'Reilly's name is or do we have a replacement? Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I know where they're sitting. So he's not in like another room. He's sitting. No, he's laying room. like within five, he's like right here. Why is he laying down? Because he doesn't know any of these, and he keeps mentioning the name. I'm sleepy too. You're sleep. He's mentioning the name Taco, which I found out is an actual name in Taco. Denver. Taco, yes. It's, the it's, name it's, of the it's like the Danish version of Thaddeus. Apparently, there's a guy cycling in the Tour de Taco France. Taco O'Reilly. That's Taco it. Taco Van Wart or Van Water. Oh, Taco Van, Van Sustern. No. Taco Vanderhoop. In the in the tour. In the tour, his first name is Taco. I had to watch a video to see if, if that was true. There's yeah. a woman in my there's a woman in my genealogy class who's in North Carolina who is so into the Tour de France. I should have oh, had to you pay for, for it, like on Peacock. <laughs> uh, I have a friend who does she, every year. She, she's she used to live here and she she moved to Nevada, but she's a she watches all the bicycle races. Yeah, we had when I was getting my endoscopy this time last year the nurse anesthetist that was wheeling me back mm -hmm. was following it as well so we were talking about, <laughs> we're talking about the tour de friends as i'm being wheeled back from the yeah well why not yeah but she do, we have like ten? do we have our 10 uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes but we don't have a first name for o'reilly 
Well, what's a good name for O'Reilly, Sean? <laughs> well, if you just use the last name. Gene O'Reilly. I mean, we're being recorded, so this would be proof that we... But no, seriously, last name should be enough. If we said his name was Michael, that wouldn't work. But O'Reilly's perfectly okay. fine. Bill O'Reilly? You guys Bill, are making no, one so Shut up and go somewhere with that. Taco O'Reilly. Taco, Taco O'Reilly. O'Reilly yeah. That's a great name. It's apparently very common. His family had named him after Taco Vander Wart or something. No way. No, his <laughs> he was a field actually... hockey player. No. Oh, the it's... best name ever of a sports figure of any of all times is Peekaboo Street. Remember her? Oh, yeah. Peekaboo God, Street. that was a great name. I, I, I think I might be related because my maiden name is Street. Oh, that's true. And it's not a very common last name, even though it's fairly simple. Like Meryl Streep? No, that's Street. No, Street. Oh, no, like, you're really serious. Her name is Peekaboo Street. You don't yeah. believe me? Fuck, no, I didn't. She was a she was an Olympic star. She was a skier, I think, right? Alpine ski racer. She was amazing. Yeah. And she, she came, really I'd never heard of her before, but boy, she just was, she was, she had a lot of wins. And the name Peekaboo Street was just incredible. They said that they didn't name her until she was older. And then, when, and she used to play Peekaboo. That was her favorite game. So they named her Peekaboo. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful name. I love it. Peekaboo. What did they call her? She was that? born at home in Idaho. So that oh, that says a lot, time. right? Well, the, it also makes you ski. Yeah, so her parents decided to let her choose her own name when she was old enough. So what did they call her in the meantime? Baby, baby girl or little girl. Oh. It says that on the page, Wikipedia page. I know you're looking at Wikipedia, right? Yep. <laughs> so they named her after the village of Peekaboo because she needed a passport. Oh, okay. Oh. Did you one of the videos you watched? No. Taco. Oh, they didn't even have her birth. So it's Taco Vanderhorn. That's his name. Oh. It's Taco Vanderhorn. He was named after the field hockey player Taco Vanderhorn Hornet Hornet. His uh, parents just like. So I don't think men played field hockey. Only women did. So he named they named him after a girl. Taco. Men play hey, we're supposed to be doing Hollywood Squares, yeah. y'all. We got our name? ten. Okay, so but I don't know what they are. Can you tell me and read them to me? Paul Lynn, Joan Collins, Carol Channing, Philip. Wait, Dillon. wait, wait. How am I supposed to write them down? Okay. Paul Wynn. Paul Lynn. Lynn. Joan Collins. L I N D, Lynn. Oh, I. Oh, that does sound familiar. Yeah. He was that kind Joan of whiny Collins. guy. He was funny, though. Okay. Paul Lynn, who else? Joan Collins, Carol Channing, Phyllis Diller, Sammy Davis Jr. Jr. Blank O'Reilly. <laughs> Joan Actually, Rivers. Joan Rivers. Vicki Lauren or Lawrence. Yeah, Vicki yeah, Vicky Lawrence. Lawrence. You know who she is, right? Vicki Lawrence, yes. I had to look at how I wrote it down. Tim Conway and Tommy Smothers. It'll be the other people we pick. I'm going to look up people. Oh, God, I hope these are even close. I know, right? Well, I know, I'm pretty sure at least two of them are right. We'll see. Well, you're tight, aren't you? For oh. well, well, we're everybody's got this is Taco's first tour. Yeah, okay, another team is back. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about Taco. Oh, my computer just all the screens went black. Yeah, he's from the Netherlands. Oh, Jamie can't close rooms. That's right. Oh. So I'll move them back to here. Yes, sir. I like I like flinging Jamie around. It's so fun. Did you enjoy oh, that you little visit to the different groups? Sure. Come on. I'm I'm dizzy from moving around so much. Ah. Come on. The travel. Okay, so we're we're ready to go back. So I'm okay. gonna go, I'm gonna go to the main room and then I'm gonna close the rooms. All right. Come on, Good job, team. Yeah. And thank you, Taco Taco Romero on the floor. Taco Vanderhorn. Woo. And I remember that. I'm looking up this guy. So the former prime minister of Japan was just shot. What? Whoa. Why? Well, there's 
We don't know. There is an election in a couple of days, so it could be political or it could be a crazy person with a gun. But you said, or it could be an ex. Oh, uh, no, why not? According cheating? to CNN, they think he made the gun himself. Ah, so really? he killed himself. We do not know. No. The, the gunman made his own gun. Oh, oh, oh! According because to it is virtually impossible to get a gun in Japan. Yeah, at least legally. And he did not attempt to run away. Well, what does that <clears throat> to do with the uh, politics if he's a former president? Because he is still a leader of one major faction of Japan's largest party and is actively campaigning for right. his party. Oh, uh, okay. So it could be political. It could so they be give sympathy kind of, to the party and, he and, represents. And he might have had lesser mm -hmm. security than a higher level target. It and could also be that there's there could be that there's no political motive whatsoever, that it was just jealousy. Yeah, I want to shoot this guy because I want to be famous. That's most likely. Was his name Taco by any chance? That's not funny, Susan. Taco is a Dutch name. We went through this. You didn't say it was Dutch. He's on the floor here laughing. <laughs> I knew we were get a giggle out of that. We were just talking about Taco people. People. Taco Vanderhorn. Okay. Taco one or the, One of the funniest themes I saw recently was uh, that said, Mikasa is Sukasa. But me taco is me taco. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. All right, where are we at? Jamie. Okay. How do you wants do to this? Um, I'll, but I'll post it and then there's 47 stars on the list. So I'll read off. You want me to read it off? You want me to post it first? Yeah. Well, um, we, need it for the, we need it for the video. So you're going to have to read them. We should read off our answers. Go, okay. Go post, post. Uh, it takes so long. I'll, do, I'll, I'll read it first and I'll post it. All set. But it's yeah. fun. I, I went through a couple of the episodes. And I, what I was amazed at is if you watch the show on TV, this, this, the set looks huge. Where they sit, the center squares, they look huge. In reality, their set is this little tiny, tiny set. When you look at the squares, it's a little tiny. All these TV shows are very deceiving. The sets are much smaller than what they seem to be on TV. So. I saw Price is Right and I thought, this is crazy. Look at this. This whole stage is like, you know, they get the, the beauties Andy. that are so beautiful and everything. And then the camera is right there. And then the people are wearing like sweatpants or whatever. Yeah, and I saw it's Letterman. all thrashed looking the stage. Yeah, I saw Letterman about seven or eight times, uh, about six in, in, in NBC and, and two or three times at CBS. CBS was huge, but NBC was tiny, very Andy. tiny. It's really interesting how how much us as a society doesn't see what's behind the scene. They're part of the reason no. why we're so easily fooled because we just don't get you it. You know what? Size doesn't matter. No. <laughs> except to the except to Johnson laugh. Johnson there. You got I, I was on I was on TV mm -hmm. every Answers, time I went to anyway, If you need an TV. Allen wrench, it certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> Allen, okay. yeah, yeah, Allen. Okay, okay let me give let me give the answers. All, All set. Right. Yeah. Rim slowly. Okay, Paul Lind. Of course. Charlie Weaver. Whoa. That's the one I forgot. <laughs> Wally Cox. What? Wally Cox. Yeah. Rosemary. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. And Vincent Price. Was he on there? Really? Yeah, he was on there over yeah. fifty times. George Goble. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I him. Uh, Abby Dalton. Okay. Jan Murray. Oh, uh, was Jan, Jan Murray. Murray. Okay, so. Nanette Fabre. <gasps> yes. Oh. Yes. Taryn Valentine. Oh. Maury Amsterdam. Oh. oh. You mean Rose yeah, Murray Rose, from Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, that's right. With Kay Ballard. Yeah, for sure. Marty, yeah. Marty Allen. <laughs> okay. Joan Rivers. Ooh. Oh, Joan. Yeah. You got her. San Sandy Duncan. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I remember her. Place Sandy Har Shadow Stevens. Yep. Harvey oh, Corman. Okay. Yay. That's his name. Tim Conway's guy. Harvey, Harvey Corman. Corman. Um, Bill Bixby. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Incredible Hulk. 
Yeah. R.D. Johnson. Oh, yeah. Lappin. Yeah. John Davidson. Wow. Uh, he became a host. Uh, Gypsy Rose Lee. Oh, that's John right. That's, I was trying to Lappin. remember. That's the... yeah. uh, Jim Backus. Oh, wow. Uh, Ruta Lee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really. Jack Cassidy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rich Little. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I remember Rich oh, Little. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Florence Henderson. Oh, oh wow. I love the for Brady. Yeah. Roddy McDowell. Mm -hmm. Wow. McDowell. Um, he was sexy. Cornelius. Yeah. Michael Landon. Yeah. Michael Landon. Wow. Pearl Bailey. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Robert Fuller. No. Oh, that is. <laughs> McLean Stevenson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Henry Blake. Yep. Charo. Yes. Oh, oh, Gucci, Gucci. 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 Jimmy Walker. All right. I know Mike. I know Mike. Yeah. Um, Earl Holliman. Oh. oh, my God. Twi Twilight <laughs> Zones. Uh. Yeah. Glenn Ford. Mm -hmm. Wow. Jaja Gabor. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. Jaja. Yay. No way. Leslie Uggams. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Joanne Worley. Yeah. I forgot about her. Yes. yes. Waylon Flowers. Yes. And now. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Judy Karn. Yes. It was oh, Judy. It was. Right, Alan. Yeah. All right. And Stu, Stu Gilliam. Who? Was he a ball Stu player? Was he a, was he a ball Gilliam. player? I think he was a ball know. player. I think he was really? a ball player. Stu Gilliam. Poor guy. He's uh, watching Damon this video Wil right now going, how come nobody remembers me? <laughs> Damon <laughs> Wilson. He was on, what show was he on? Damon Wilson. Well, he was on that, um, oh, what was that show? We got to figure that one out. The Damon Wilson show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jack Carter. Yeah. Greg Morris. Ah. Connie Stevens. Oh, yeah. Tony Randall. Yeah, oh, oh, sure. Didn't remember. Charlie Cap. Yeah, Charlie Callis. Yeah. Oh, Remember. yes. And Barbara Eden. Barbara oh, Eden. Wow. Mm -hmm. No sure. Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop? Oh, no. my gosh. No. That was and a nice no, walk down no the No George park. Hamilton? I'm glad you read that no. off because that was and fun. No All Conwell. those names, I can't remember no. them from ages wow, ago. Those are the only so, ones I got so wrong. No, no Carol Channing? No Carol Channing. Phyllis Diller? I think Phyllis Diller was always on. Any, anybody from Hee Haw? Phyllis Diller? Buck Owens? That's the name I could remember. Oh, Buck, Buck Owens. Owens. I thought, I thought those guys from Hee Haw were on. Jamie, did we miss Phyllis Diller? Um, she was, um, she did do 50 episodes. Oh, no, there were, no, no. There, okay. actually, there were actually two over 200 stars who did the show, mm -hmm. but um, I only wanted the, the yeah, top the 50 episodes. That's yeah, I know Sherry Lewis was on there, but I don't know how many she did. Oh, yeah, she did quite a few, but yeah, she wow. didn't do 50. No. Well, it, that was a blast from the past, all right? Yeah. We really were having that to stretch. I swear anyone... there was, did somebody remember a, a host, a guy who used to be on all the shows, his last name was Riley? Charles Nelson Riley. Uh, yeah, Charles Nelson Riley. Riley. I took him That's off it. because he, he, was was in, he was on Match Game. Game. He was on Match Game yeah. with Richard Dreyfuss, Richard Dreyfuss. Uh, Dawson? Richard, Dr Richard Dawson, Dawson and, uh, and a TV Wolf show Wolf called Adrian Ghost and Mrs. Rex Muir. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was yeah. on the Ghost and Mrs. Muir. Yeah. Remember the TV? Yeah. yeah. He, he, was a, he, was a, he, was a, he was actually, I think, a director. Can I do oh, yeah. some? Nelson Riley. Did he have glasses and he used to smoke yeah. on the show? Yeah. 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 But never yep. two. He never wore two. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no. that's, that's, that's my thing. Well, he was Did anyone not have Paul Lind on their list? I had we had Paul Lynn, but I wouldn't everybody have had Paul Lynn, right? I, I would not have gotten it. There's no way. No, Paul Cox. Cox was the one who died during yeah. the show. <laughs> really? He was on it and then all of a sudden he died and they had to announce he wasn't on it anymore. Probably oh, he didn't die like on, not on the show, but he didn't fall out of the square. Wow. But the, yeah. uh, Paul <laughs> Paul Lynn, the first two I would always put would be Paul Lynn and and and, and, Char and um Charlie Weaver. My, my favorite I, Paul I, Lynn I, I, answer I remember was the question was, is it possible that a, a 
female dog could have puppies in the same litter from two different fathers. And Paul Lynn said, why that bitch? I'm going to have to watch the show. That, that was really good. Okay, here we go. So, scores. We'll go start with thoughts and prayers won't help our score either. We had eight. How many? Wow. Wow. Jeez. Good going. Wow. Okay, the British Amazons. I think we have four. Okay, yeah, I that's fine. When the herd moves, it moves. You get seven. And you guys can't see the scores being added up, right? Yes, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Jamie's team, Britain cuts off its Johnson. Two. <laughs> wow. we, we're not in the bottom. We're not in the bottom, Vincent. We would have gotten more if it wasn't 50 It's episodes. not my fault. Vincent should have stayed to see that he moved out yeah, of the Somebody summer. has to contact Vincent. Should have said Vincent Price just for Vincent. Take a <laughs> screenshot. Take a screenshot and give it to Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number, number. Uh, Did we get one? Did we get one. two? Just one. We got eight. Oh, you uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> nine. 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 guys. More. Look at that. Well. Caspian, Gene, and me. Just three of us. Second place. Mm, pretty Kevin, good. Well done. Well done. Kevin did the whole thing. <laughs> I was on that team at one time, too. Yes, you were. Got, and you we got, got the lowest seven. score then. <laughs> get the lowest no, no, one. No, the second round was your lowest score. <laughs> okay. I get, no, I guys, get the lowest it, on the, my round that you took my score. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you, team. Right. Good comeback, guys. Oh, great, comeback. great categories. Bob great great categories, Bye. everybody. I'm really yeah. proud of you guys. Boy, we everybody's getting up. good at this game, aren't they? Getting Unique. good at making categories. I need one more category for next week. I have Caspian. Rob, I'd rather Robin. do a category than a bonus. I thought you needed the bonus. Oh, I do. Can I do a category. Okay, you want a category or bonus? Get category? Category. Okay, I need a bonus, people. Well, Jamie has just done the mic drop of. Uh, that was a great bonus round, Jamie. It was really, oh, good. really that interesting. Was great. Awesome. But that doesn't mean we don't still need a bonus round for next week. <laughs> I, I can do a bonus. We'll, we'll dominate does, the next right? week. I could, I Hollywood could do Square's one. appearance is less than 50. Oh, <laughs> one appearance only. Okay, one Kevin, appearance if only. there's nobody else, come on, somebody else who hasn't done a category in a while? I heard I'll Kevin do a bonus if nobody else will do I know, but Kevin did one today. I'm just uh, I did it last week, too. It's be three weeks in a row. Mm. If nobody else has one, I'm going to put him down. Whoever <laughs> yawns next has to do it. Kevin, yawn. <laughs> okay, I got to sign off now. <laughs> Put the size. Thank you, Peggy, for doing a category at the last second for us. Mm, okay, I'm one. putting Kevin down for bonus. But and the week somebody after, else, but I'll do one. Bye, I'll everybody. have one ready. Bye. Bye. The Bye. week after that, you guys, is Skeptical, and so we're going to do a Saturday. Oh. And then we, I need are, one for the we week skipping, after that. Are we skipping Thursday? Nope. We're going to have two that week. Okay. okay. So, so the week after You're that. You're already writing. But I'm running the whole Skeptical. Oh, I gotcha. So. All Punch and Judy. All punch and duty nonstop. Lighthouses. So, Susan, no, if you need that's, that's Lou Hillman's category. If you need the me to look over your questions, morning. just send oh, them my you, send them my way. You're gonna you're gonna be you're not the, gonna play uh, trivia. One, I won't one, be at Skeptical Trivia punch because punch. my mom is here and oh, we're in a, in a golf tournament. We do this every year, and it's the lady called a lady member guest. It's a, an all day thing. It starts at eleven in the morning, and you decorate your golf carts, and you have prizes for getting dressed up. And it goes until about nine, ten o'clock at night. Oh so, God! What are you gonna do? What's your theme? What's you're gonna dress as? It, it's a Hawaiian theme. So uh, last year we won our cart, and it was. But we what we always do is we just go to a dollar store the day before and buy a bunch of crap and stick it on the cart. And last year we won. So. Wait a second. So they have dollar stores in Canada? Yeah, actually, there Why would be like five dollar stores. stores. Yeah, they bins. should be called loony stores. Loony, loony bins. bins would be perfect. Loony oh. bins. Oh. Yeah. In bins. Yeah, no, they're called dollar stores. Oh, I can't wait to see the photos. I want to see the photos. Let's see some photos up on your page. Yeah, I, I put them up last year, I think. Yeah, but I didn't know you as well last year. Oh, <laughs> no, I guess I did. 
Yeah, you knew me no, pretty well did. last year. I just don't know anything anymore. <laughs> it's lightning. Good thing I wasn't three times. Kyle so, just yawned. You already assigned it. You assigned it. You forgot that, of course. Uh, so, so Susan, Watch. when when is the trivia game? Saturday night. Same what, time. Yeah, what time? Same time. Same time you, we always play. Okay. Yeah, same time. I didn't pick it. It's yeah. what uh, they picked. Because Saturday is all day with the game, with the uh, the trivia. I mean, I the might uh, not be able to come. Conference. Right, we'll see. I, I probably won't be able to make it. I thought you were free uh, on uh, Saturdays, Carl, but not. Oh, I'm, I'm busy almost every Saturday. Oh, no, no, you're me. mixing it up. He's not free. He's cheap. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll, dress, I'll dress like Let's, this. All right, Bob. Bob will Let's wear bring, a chick, bring ch You have to bring the chickens. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> there's going to be people who play either. that are not not the normal people who play. So, so I would like to see your hat on one of Bob's chickens with him wearing the outfit he has on. Yeah. I guess you can get it at a dollar store. I agree. I they have these at the dollar store. All you need to do is have a little something that has blue with a slot, and you set it on his head, and then the red will come up through the middle. Mm -hmm. I, I, that do, that ought to be interesting. Or do blue and then white well he's already white he's already he's, he's red and white he only needs a little blue he's all he's good oh uh, very clever he's so cute look at that this is, this is the girl They're very cute and this is the boy yeah that's adorable just sitting there like she oh. lays eggs. look and at that big for her size i want to see if she grooms him yeah, they they'll they'll groom each other a little bit. Aren't they cute? And I think they should have a hat. Okay, I'm gonna watch Hollywood Squares. I have um, Richard gonna be here tomorrow, so go watch the movie Network. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I got it. Okay. All right, y'all. Thank you guys so much. I love the categories. Yeah. They're so yeah. diverse. Okay. Guys, yeah. you're really clever. Yeah. Good, night. Good night. Good night. See Good night. you Saturday. Yeah.